Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Kubifactorium. I am Catherine of Sky, and I am joined by the game developer, Mirko. How are you doing today? Are you excited? <laughs> I am. Yeah, thank you so much for inviting me, Catherine. Oh, you're very welcome. I, I have been really excited about this game since I played the demo, and um, it's grown so much since then. Oh my god, I can't wait to show everybody what is here. Um, so, I, I before I forget, thank you so much, Same Lewis, for your subscription. I really appreciate it. Okay, back to um, talking to you, uh, Mirko. So, what, what gave you the idea for this game? Is it... Ah, so, yeah. Go ahead, yeah. go ahead, yeah. Uh, so I've uh, always been a big fan of uh, classic colony building games like The Settlers and uh, Railroad lately, but also mm -hmm. of uh, Factorio and um, like transport games like uh, Transport uh -huh. Tycoon and so on. Nice. And um, I always like wanted to make my own spin on this, add some own <laughs> ideas and, uh, you know, combine all these experiences in a fun way. Oh, that's so cool. I I think that you have like exactly the same dream that I have had forever, except I can't do programming. <laughs> so I think it's awesome <laughs> that you like take all those games that you've loved and kind of, like you said, put your own spin on it and create a new game and stuff. And um, so I'm really excited to play. Everybody, I have been practicing this game quite a bit uh, to get to know it. And um, we decided that to best show it off, I would do a very, very itty bitty tiny campaign to show you kind of progression in the game. But the there are many different options, as we'll see. This game is coming out into early access on Steam um, in a week and a half. So please go ahead and um, uh, wishlist it on Steam. And thank you, No Name. That's so very nice of you. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's coming out and it's... Uh, oh my God, it's so great. It, and it, it's voxelized. It's so cute. So first of all, um, I'm going to show you. There's... Let's see. Should we start with a the campaign then? I think we'll look at the new campaign. Now, there are many different okay. world maps. Uh, we can go from tiny, small, normal, big, and huge. And this controls the number of islands you get. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Correct. Okay. So let me show you. I'll, I'll just show um, a couple of sizes, and then we'll start on a tiny one. So let's just start on a normal size, and we'll just kind of look. At, do we get, a, we get to look at the World Atlas first, I think, right? Mm-hmm. Water is here. Hello, water. Okay, so here, this is a normal size one. Looks like we have three uh, grasslands, one mixed grasslands and desert, and three desert, and then uh, some of these dark lands, which are still in prog process progress, right? So, um, and then there's a mixed one over here as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's see. Uh, well, oh, can I get out of this? Let's go to the main menu again. So that's the normal size. So let's see what a huge one looks like. So I should say maybe at this point that the balancing is not, uh, you know, perfect, right? Especially <laughs> for the world map. So um... <laughs> yeah, there, there, are, there are a few more islands, not as huge as I was expecting, I have to say. I think we have <laughs> almost the same. So. Be, be, just keep in mind everyone this is early access so a lot of these things will be balanced and changed and all this stuff but i just want to show there are options even now wow. holy fuzzy cats what have you done boku wayoru oh my god thank you so very much 10 gift subscriptions wow, wow. thank you thank you thank you that is amazing holy fuzzy cats oh my god um Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Oh, we have a question. Um, Julio asks, what is the price of the game on release? Ah, um, it's going to be a 20 US dollars or um, the regional equivalent, depending on where you live. Okay, that's cool. Um, and Ref, uh, in order for the Twitch channel to grow, it, it's, it's better if you subscribe on Twitch rather than YouTube, but you can subscribe either place, whatever you prefer. Um, and thank you very much for the for the thought. And okay, let me just say hello to all of the new subscribers. Thank you for joining the channel via gift sub, Soul Eroder, More Dress, Secart Velo, Quadrum, Derock, Maleficent, Clusmo, Off the Ball, McCarthyus, and Moffat C. Welcome and thank you, thank you again, Boku, so much for that. And thank you, Nimikins. Wow. Oh my God, the the, the, uh, the notifications are just stacking up here. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> awesome. Oh, and thank you for the cheer and pending misfortunes. Wow. Thank you so very much for the 500 bits. Wow, wow, wow. So many bros, yes. Okay, so um, let's get into a new campaign and we'll go with a tiny wow. size world. But there are other options that we need to look at before we actually start this. So we have different starting parties and different cargo here. And... <laughs> We have, um, let's see, we've got a male colonist, a female colonist. So here we have four of each. That gives us eight total colonists. So I should say that colonists are the ones that do the main work in uh, in the game. They, they work the machines and they do transport stuff and stuff like that. But certain animals wow. like pigs and sheep also, um, they also... Uh, carry stuff around oh my goodness thank you raw 530 for the sub prime subscription much appreciated um yeah so we have so what, what's the idea behind these different cargo setups um what what mm -hmm. was your you know this one i see comes with tools this one has pigs we have sheep and we have a sp pet spiders which are attack spiders i guess <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 so <laughs> So basically, the idea is just to give the player a little bit more options of how they want to play. So for example, um, mm -hmm. if you take the second loadout with the four picks, for example, then you will not have to worry about transporting things uh -huh. too much, right? Okay. Because yeah. the yeah, picks can sense. do a lot of transporting. Oh. And um, if you do the setup with the wooden parts, which is the one on the bottom left, mm -hmm. then you can build some more complex um, production ah. trees right from the start. Yeah, I noticed that those wooden parts are actually quite quite complicated to get, and so you could like start a a, a better setup earlier with those. That's really great. And then then mm -hmm. the tools, of course, help the people with their jobs. They can gather faster and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, exactly. So I think I think what we'll do is we'll. I think I want to start out with the pigs because. <laughs> Because that's, that's good, yeah. It's, yeah. They're, they're going to carry stuff for us. We'll have two less colonists, but four pigs. That should be fine. Um, and do you think that will affect us, though, on having a tiny world map size? Will, will we be able to find enough colonists to do the work for us? It should work. It should work, yeah. Okay, okay. Let's um, do that. Actually, actually uh, it's yeah. not like one option is necessarily better. I'm still not sure exactly myself uh, how balanced <laughs> it is. And so I tried a game myself today with the uh -huh. uh, four pick, and it worked out pretty well, actually. Um, oh, there was crazy. a bug, actually, where it was just freeze because I never <laughs> tested it with, with picks in the later game. But uh, it's fixed now and should oh, do great. fine. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so let's start off with this then. And thank you, Ref27, for the subscription. Uh, much appreciated. Okay, so here we have the tiny, tiny world size with only, wow, one, two, three, four, five, six islands, seven total. Okay, so I'm going to try um, to go, we'll go to uh, North Hill Island. Two castaways want to join our colony. There's stranded goods, flat terrain, only basic resources, and no enemy camps. Okay, so that's good. No, no enemies here. Um, there we go. So we'll click this island. So the islands themselves are, are they procedurally generated? Are they random or are they set for the campaign? Mm -hmm. They are procedurally generated. And um, basically there are some modifiers, like you saw before, extra resources or no enemies or um, things like that. And these modifiers are randomly chosen. Mm -hmm. And um, based on that, maps are generated. So every map can have different biomes and it can have um, enemy densities, resource densities, and so on. Mm -hmm. oh, we have a question from chat. Are there map seeds? Um, yes, there are. Um, currently, um, you cannot edit the seed, but there is a seed system. And, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I know that that, that would be future. important if people want to like have competitions or speed runs or things like that mm -hmm. um, so that they could you know, play the same maps and see how that they fare. Uh, thank mm -hmm. you, FSM Imp, for the subscription. Much appreciated, Sydney. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, so here we are. We have our boat. We have some stuff on the boat. We've got rocks. We've got wooden logs, strawberries, uh, water, a stone hammer, a stone pickaxe, and a stone shovel. Um, so this is our island. We can't see most of it. There's a lot in the fog of war. There are sheep here waiting to be tamed, but they're not tameable yet, as I, I hear, right? <laughs> <laughs> but there's so many of them. They're fluffy. Look how fluffy they are. And here are, oh, these are the, um, the castaways. Wow, there's a few of them. There's six people. Holy fuzzy cats. It's a lot. Okay. And there's a horse. Look at this horse. 
Oh my god, the voxels are so cute. Oh, the voxels. Oh. They, they just make me suffer in joy. I love them. <laughs> They're so adorable. <laughs> okay, so now I have learned that the best thing to do first... First, I'm going to assign people. That's what I like to do first. As I want to assign people two tasks. And in kind of like a RimWorld system, you have this ability to assign them with little checkboxes. And um, you show also what colonist is better at doing certain things. And I love that you have this sort of priority system or, or sorting system, I should say, where you can say, ah, who is best at combat? So this is what I usually do. I just like click the people who are best at the mm -hmm. combat and then go to construction, click the first four people. Let's do it. And then logging and farming and oh, power. I'm going to just click all the pigs. <laughs> Oink Bert. <laughs> it's a funny name. Okay, so I don't think we actually need power generation yet, but hopefully they'll be we'll get there soon. So these are also okay, so one 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 comment I have about these buildings here. The icons for like the bakery and the workplace and stuff are very Mm -hmm. Same looking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd rather, yeah, I see. I'd rather I see. you have yeah. like like for a bakery. I'd rather like see a loaf of bread or something like these kind of um, icons. Like for the combat and construction, those are really really clear. Um, but like for the bakery, mm -hmm. it's like okay, lump of gray. Okay, uh, workplace lump of brown. <laughs> <laughs> another lump of gray, mm -hmm. yeah, another gray, yeah, and okay. so like that kind of thing. Okay. Um, but anyway, that that's just something that I noticed. Um, okay, but I'm gonna do the same thing and prioritize people this way. Sounds and, good. Because um, I always have to like mouse over oh. and um, and look what it is. Oh my god, who loves metal workshop? Everybody wants to be a metalsmith. That's awesome. Sounds great. Okay. Um, now this is probably not the best way of doing things, but it is a way, and it's. Yeah. I I often find it kind of like overwhelming. So I'm going to just do this. And if people have to... Am I allowed jobs, to criticize it? <laughs> yeah, please. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Uh, the thing is just um, uh, the colonists decide which tool to pick up based on the first job from the left. So ah. in this case, uh, four colonists will pick up a sword, right. which will not help them to do anything else. So it's not super optimal, I guess. But right. Well, in this game, okay. I've also noticed that things don't attack you unless you attack their flag, right? Is that correct? Mm -hmm. That is correct. Right. Okay. So I don't actually have to assign anybody to be a in combat unless I attack things. And we know there's nothing dangerous on this island. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so that's 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 really good to know. I didn't know that. So if we have people doing, the construction is going to have a hammer, and then gathering uh, is going to have the. All right, so I definitely want to have specialized farmers who are not constructors, uh, and then here we have miners who are not constructors, and then constructors who are do construction first. Okay, that sounds better. That's that is much better, I think. Mm -hmm. um, Okay. I, I have to say, I find this like really a little bit overwhelming and maybe I should only assign like three people to a task instead of so many. Mm -hmm. Well, it's okay. We'll figure it. We'll fix it later. This is just like, so they start doing stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think, all right. So what I'm going to do is, oh my God, these poor people, they're like houses, where, when, come on, give us houses. <laughs> 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 so what we want to do first is we there's a couple of things we should do we, sh we should build bonfires and we should build um yeah start off our our wood uh production area so i think i'll build uh, where do i put the wood okay we have some hills cliffs let's build some bonfires now bonfires extend the area you're allowed to build in so those are kind of important we can uh organize the chopping of trees here and I think bonfires need some stone. Also want to open up this chest. Okay, can be mined. Great. Let's mine you this. can unload your ship. Um, yeah, there is I a ton of stuff the in there. Oh yes. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. and I like that you have an unload everything thing. That's great because it saves clicks. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, so they're gonna take stuff off, and these things, they are awaiting construction. Does it show us what item it needs? 
Um, if it needs something, it should be saying there, so... Um, okay. Maybe I guess it should be built in. Okay, because I noticed that in the patch notes that you put that in, that items that need... Or, or constructions that need items will say, I think, what they're supposed to have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Okay, this guy's mining a chest, and he found water. Wow, a chest full of water. <laughs> How handy. <laughs> <laughs> I think what I'll do is I might have my forest over here, this area. That might be a good idea. Because um, I like to have a good area to have a forest in. So let's just put that there. And then I'll start with the wood stockpile over here. <laughs> Thank you, Boku, for the subscription. Much appreciated. Okay, let me do stockpile first uh, for wood. Um, one, two, three. So I read also that the roads um, thing has been removed. Is that right? The road requirement? Uh, the requirement? Yeah, it has. It has. Okay. Um, so now uh, when people walk on roads, they are faster. Mm -hmm. um, so there is now another use for roads. So before it was mandatory to have roads, but today. Okay. But now it's optional. Okay, here we have mud roads, speed bonus 30, and then we have stone roads, but that requires rocks. We don't have any rocks at the moment, so I'm just going to build quick thing. Oops. Roads. Okay. I'm just going to do click and drag. There we go. Nice. All right. So now the way this game works is when you have an area, here we have a grove. This is going to grow us some trees for lumber, and we can choose a different type of different types of trees here. Palm trees, we don't have the right kind of soil. We need a desert oasis soil, but we can do pine trees and oak trees. And we can see how long it takes to grow uh, and growth rate at nighttime and all this kind of thing. And it seems to be that pine trees are superior than oaks um, because of the time needed to grow them. Even though oaks can be mined for two wooden logs, pines are uh, only one. So I guess oaks are better if you have fewer people, fewer labor force, where they can only mine it every, you know, once in a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, correct, okay. correct. So, okay, what I need to do here is then, then we need to choose a stockpile. So what you do is you right click, I th think. No output stockpile. Okay, there we go. We're right clicking this. And then this stockpile uh, will automatically um, select wooden logs so that logs can be stored there. The lightning sounds amazing. Yes. I love the weather in this game. It's very cool. Very, very cool. What if I should remove this line of, um, of stuff, of uh, grove? Can I remove this? Yay. Okay, here we can. Great. So just like move things up by one space. Uh, let me just re change that road a little bit. There we go. And then I'll I'll change the stockpile as well, which is this one. Yes. And then we'll get down here and then remove part of this zone. I love the whole things merging together. So nice. Uh, that's that's so so good for um, usability. Oh, here our bonfires have expanded our zone of uh, of influence. So I'm gonna have people gonna mine stuff, get all these pesky rocks and trees out of the way. What is this nature thing, <laughs> right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. All right, and I'm gonna get also we're gonna get a stockpile for stone, and that's gonna be here. Oh, my plans are already going awry. <laughs> or rock, I should say, not stone. I'm like, oh no, I want to build the workshops, but there's stuff here. No! <laughs> okay, so let's see. These things, uh, all right, mountain content. They have clay. Um, and then mined clay. That's cool. All right, let's go ahead and mine some of this stuff here. Let's give ourselves some more room, and then I'm going to put some more bonfires down. Must have bonfires. Not quite Dark Souls bonfires, but very close. <laughs> so the uh, mountain content um, panel is something I'm not quite happy with at the moment. Mm -hmm. Because it basically just shows you everything that is in the mountain. Uh -huh. And um, 
I guess you can locate it if you cut the mountain into two parts and then click on them, but it's not, it doesn't make any sense. Right? So. Yeah, at the, I, I was really confused because I thought, okay, mountain content, that this is going to give us clay, like 21 clay from that square. That's what mm -hmm. I feel. Unless, is, is that like the entire mountain? Like the huge structure so, or just one square, the mountain content thing? The whole mountain. So, oh, so basically, wow. um, I uh, don't really want people to have to mine everything to get all the resources, right? Ah. So um, I guess I will have to add some sort of, I don't know, it's called a rock science person who, <laughs> who can uh, find it for you. <laughs> I don't know what the name is in English. <laughs> like a giant or something? <laughs> oh. I okay. guess, yeah. <laughs> now, I was curious. That, that, you know, having these mountains here, though, creates kind of a nice 3D effect. Are we going to have uh, the ability to build roads up the mountain or like a slope where they can walk? So, like, you could build, like, the chieftain's house up on top of the mountain and he could have, like, this really impressive garden and, I don't know, like, swag territory. <laughs> <laughs> At the moment, it's not planned, but uh, you could have buildings that are very high, like uh, a very high villa with a garden for the... It okay. would be a very, very nice house, for example. Like, that oh. sounds like a very nice house. My people are like, yay, hey, this guy, look at him. He wants a villa already. He heard us talking. He's like, oh, I'm mine in the mountain, but I wish I could have a house on top. <laughs> Oh boy. So, oh, the other thing that I should have done and I didn't do is I was going to grab a person and say, hey, go over there. Whoops. I forgot how to make him go. Go. Nope. Uh, that, that is disabled in the current build. Um, is it? Oh, right. Okay. So I was playing with that before I noticed. All right. So um, <laughs> basically I found that um, uh -huh. <laughs> A whole lot of bugs were related to that because it just ah. cancels what they are doing at the moment and that a lot of implications. And um, yeah. since I want to have it, the game as bug free and stable as possible for the early access start, I just removed mm -hmm. it for now. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so before I was able to, what I was trying to do is get a person to actually explore out into the world. So exploration now has to be done with bonfires. Is that the way to do that? Mm hmm. Yes, okay. it is. Okay. All right, my people are feeling like they need stuff. Um, I think we're gonna build some workshops right now. Let's build also a little stockpile for clay. All right, there we go. I Okay, so this is really awesome. I don't know how you do this. You're like a psychic mind reader game dev, but the second item on the list is mind clay. I love that. Is that like based on what's laying around or or how, do, how does the game choose yeah. that? Oh, and here's a pig carrying exactly. a block. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I love so, that that whole thing it makes it really easy because there's like a billion items in here or there will be even more items yeah there's a bunch mm -hmm. so uh, yeah it is looking at what items are not stocked at the moment and it is uh, suggesting them first in the mm -hmm. list okay so i think i'm gonna build uh, we need several stockpiles here. Now, now, <laughs> before people worry too much, people are not going to starve to death, right? Oh, God, I have two bonfires here. Oy. Okay, I'm going to destroy this. <laughs> okay, nobody saw that. It's fine. <laughs> it's very fine. <laughs> Oopsies. No, I lost the bonfire. Here it is. <laughs> okay. This guy is doing some stuff. All right. Aha. We're revealing the ground and territories. Okay. Let's get this one over there and one over here. I'm just going to like conquer this entire area. And um, so if we're wondering, <laughs> build a stockpile for Clay. Yes, of course, Clay. I would love to build a stockpile for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that's> so good. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, by the way. <laughs> that's great. Okay, back to the workshops. Okay, so so people are not going to starve, right? Uh, so I don't have to build them food immediately, even though they're complaining about it. I mean, they very much are like, "Hey, where's the food? Where's the water? Oh, the pig is even complaining about the lack of water." 
and normally I would do things faster, but I'm I'm streaming at the moment. <laughs> I think I'm okay. So I'm gonna look at this and figure out where do I want my farms. I think farms can maybe be where this huge mountain is. So I'm just gonna like kind of move the mountain slightly into a stockpile. <clears throat> That's what we call it. <laughs> We shall move the mountain into a stockpile. Just gently <laughs> cart it away. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but here... Very I'm ambitious, gonna... yeah. <laughs> Very ambitious, yes. <laughs> it's fine. We are ambitious people. It's good. Uh, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build some workshops. We have a basic workplace, which is going to start to get us some of our stuff that we need. Now, our inventory target, now this is what we need to move on to the next island, in, in case anybody's wondering. We need uh, 15 wooden boards, uh, 20 mined clay. Wow, I better not use any of that. Uh, water, 5 water, uh, 5 strawberries, 5 tomatoes, 5 wooden handles, 5 stone blocks, and 5 harvested wheat. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to keep on going after this inventory target as we... Because uh, I want to build one big colony here um, so that we can kind of move on oh. to the other islands later. T Price, thank you so very much for the subscription. Um, welcome to the channel. Oh my god, I can't even talk today. <laughs> it's rough. Rough times. Okay, but um, let's see. Do we have enough space for two? Let's see if I can mine these beautiful i like these ferns okay so these are really very superior um voxel ferns they very they look really nice but they're gonna have to be mined i'm sorry ferns bye bye it's it's a thing we apologize for the inconvenience <laughs> they're all the true enemy yes <laughs> Okay, pigs are like, hey, we don't have food, we don't have water, but we're still carrying the clay. Oh, the sadness is real. Flatten the earth, everything. Yes, it'll be fine. Don't worry. This is, this is our paradise of nature, our playground of nature. Oh, wait, we need more rocks. No, we don't. We have things. Why is <clears throat> people are constructing too many bonfires slightly? <clears throat> because apparently I can't see them. <laughs> Nobody saw that. But this one is not getting constructed. I wonder why not. There should be constructors constructing. Maybe they're playing with the sheep. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Let's go get ourselves some more bonfires. Conquer the world through sheepiness. There we go. Alright. Get this wheat. And soon we should... You know what? We should get these people to join us. I'm going to put this bonfire close to their colony flag right there so that they will join us. They're like, hey, we're bored. We need a job. We're just sitting here in the rain. It's not fun. They're not even... Com they have lost the heart to complain. They have no <laughs> one to complain to. <laughs> there is there is no... Wow, that's really sad. <laughs> that's really sad. Uh, Peps, no, it's it's just me and, and Mirko, the game developer. Um, and... Um, it's, yeah, my, my keyboard is a bit clicky. It's a mechanical one, but I have red switches instead of blues. Okay, so people are still complaining about lack of houses. I have to say that they're not that picky about houses because in my previous colonies that I practiced with, I never made them any houses and they didn't seem to die. Uh, so, um, <laughs> just, it said, I wonder if that's going to be a more needed thing or not. Okay, so let's build some basic workplaces. Um, one... No! Yes. Okay, this works. This will work. Oh, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Cancel. Can we cancel this? We can cancel both. Uh, hello? I've forgotten how uh, to cancel this construction. Yes, the, uh, this remove one. zone button. The... Remove zone. Okay. Ah, there it is. Okay, that works better. Now, let's see if I can... Can I do this? I can! Oh, I just mis misinterpreted how much space they needed. Okay. Okay, so with these guys, we're going to make some uh, products here. Stone blocks and wooden boards. Those are kind of like the basics of what is needed for the other stuff that we're going to need here. Uh, <laughs> I'm now an evil overlord who subjects people to the elements. That's rough! <laughs> 
Um, so, um, so if we look further, stone blanks are made from stone blocks. Hammers are made from wooden handles and stone blanks. And then we can go here and see that we can make wooden handles from the wooden boards. So it's kind of like a little production chain that we have to uh, organize here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to make small stockpiles. Well, I'll, actually, I'm going to make a road. I'm, I got so used to making roads. Um, that I just make them. I just make them anyway. Okay, let's do that. We'll make a stockpile here for the boards. Oopsies. Clicked on the wrong square. There we go. Okay, whatever. It's fine. There we go with this one. And they don't have to be big. So here we're going to choose wooden boards. And we're going to shove them in this stockpile. Stockpile, we got to say, okay, take wooden boards. Very important that you, like, assign the stockpiles for that stuff. So, uh, all right, people are still like, okay, where's our houses? Oh, we left a pillar over here. Uh, let's get rid of that. And the epic voxel fern. I'm sorry, fern, but it's your time to go. I think I'll leave these ferns. I like those. Those are good. Uh, blank is uh, a term used in crafting, um, Gyrok Peter, for um, something that isn't finished. So I used wooden blanks, like bowl blanks, so you can like rough out a bowl um, and then let it dry properly so the wood seasons and then um you call it a blank because it's not finished yet but when you when you make it the finished shape and add the details that's when it's like a finished bowl so blank makes um sense to me in that sense so stone blocks and we'll have that one delivering here this one will say aha stone blocks oh we've expanded our territory did we get the people no, not yet. Okay, people, we're gonna get, we're gonna, we're gonna rescue you from eternal boredom, <laughs> you poor people. <laughs> yes. Okay, we have kind of conquered most of the island. This is a very easy way to conquer. I'm like, yeah, let's just build a bonfire. Let's get a couple of sticks. It's fine. Oh, here's a guy already working. Oh no, is that a lady? I don't know. Female colonist. It is a lady. All right, she's very unhappiness here. She uh, very unhappy. <laughs> she has zero drink, zero food. She has lots of health though. She's okay. It's like lots of love. Oh yeah. Housing none. Sleep. Wow. They need sleep. I didn't realize that. She's gonna be very unhappy very soon. <laughs> and no socialization. Yeah, we need to. We need to organize the socialization. But we need to get. I think. So. When they socialize, do they need something? Do they need, like, drink or food to socialize? Or do they just go to a table to socialize without items? Mm -hmm. So currently they only need a table to socialize. So in the future I will add some more okay. um, socialization options. But mm -hmm. uh, in general, at the moment, you don't need to provide food. I mean, you need to provide it anyways, <laughs> but not, not for that specific part. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> So funny. Okay, so here's a table. We need two wooden bo Oh, these are the new tables. Ah, oh, I saw this in the Discord. They now have, have little tents or little roofs above them. Those are really cute. Okay, I'm going to put it by the trees here. I'm going to see if my colonists appreciate the trees. See if they can go here and have a bit of a chat with their neighbors. It's going to be great people. We do have two wooden boards. So oh, wow. This person is like, no. Did she get sleep from this? Yes, yeah, yeah, she did. So she doesn't need a house. She just needs the ground. <laughs> Sleeping under the stars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the pigs, though, carrying stuff. Let's see, even the pigs sleep. So cute. Look at that. They're breathing. Aw. <laughs> I love that detail. It's so adorable. Aw. He is moving around a bit as he sleeps. Oh, now they're sleeping in a pile. Aw. So cute, pigs in a pile. I didn't know sleep. pigs slept in a pile. My cats sleep in a pile. So that was kind of a new one for me. Okay, so. All right, we have these two construction places working, but we may need to adjust our colonists so that somebody is actually working there uh, at all times. Let's see, basic workplace. All right, this person has farming to do. Um, a lot of them have multiple stuff that they're doing ahead of this. Oh, no, we got the people. Oh, we got the board people. They're now ours. Yes. 
<laughs> we got the board people. Excellent. Okay, let's let's re redo our um, thingies to get people doing stuff. Let's start off with the basic workplace and change around. Oh, this person loves doing uh, Kunheide is going to be a basic workplace person. And then maybe, let's see, brewery, sure. All the things they like. Okay, Fertilinda is good at farming. All right, we'll do this this way. And then you, Oswald, you look like a well guy. You look really like a well guy. Yeah, I'll put you on the well first. Um, who else do we need for basic workplace? Do we have several? Let's see. We have two pages worth of people here. Wait, did we not get their pigs and stuff? Oh no! <laughs> oh my goodness! No! <laughs> Aw, okay, it'll be fine though. So it you really want fine. me to add taming to the game, right? Yes, please. We need it. <laughs> we need it. <laughs> okay, we need it okay, desperately. Okay. <laughs> what is this? We got metal workshop, robot workshop. Okay, well, I think you're gonna be a well guy. Sorry, dude. It's your your lot in life. Oh wait, you could do building okay that's fine Bertwin, what do you like to do not much that's useful to us unfortunately um geez wow he has such small interests eek not good all right you can be here doing what is this kiln hmm. maybe maybe Robot workshop. All these people like want to work with rope. They're high tech folks. I can't blame them. I mean, robots are great, but you know, we don't have them yet. <laughs> My goodness, that's rough. <laughs> I'll see you later, Speedy Savan. Thanks for coming to the stream. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh wow, okay, that was interesting. I was uh, scrolling chat um, in uh, in there and it scrolled the game as well. All right, that's fine. So we have our boards and we have our stone chunks. Now we get to make stuff from these chunks. We do have our table where nobody is enjoying the pleasures of socializing <laughs> yet. But I'm sure, like they say, if you build it, they will come. And I'm hoping for them to come along and enjoy this. Let's build a bit of a road there. I don't know if they need a road, but... Um, just put this. I just put this down just in case they need it. Oh, oh, she loves that. No, she didn't love the road. Never mind. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Now then, <clears throat> on to the next thing. Let's just <laughs> interpret uh, random things, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we need to start doing the farming. And these people have been working very diligently to get this, this farm thing underway. So I think we're going to build some farms next. Um, we have base. Okay, so here's one thing that kind of is weird to me. Like when I look at the menu, when I when I move my mouse over this, these things, mm -hmm. it completely blocks what I'm looking at. It kind of drives me crazy. Yeah, okay. A bit. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. And then these also, they they. It, could you put like the tooltips maybe to the right hand side of mm -hmm. the menu? So, because yeah, I love I to see all the stuff and it's like, ooh, nice. Okay, so we have food and water. People are like, oh my god, she finally realized we need food. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we are going to have beer, Pterok. It's going to be fine. There's a brewery in the game. They make beer and tea. So that's coming. Uh, all right, so we do need to have a well, but we are... Where is the... F oh, the farm. Silly me. It's just a crop thing. That's right. So... What you do for farming is you basically build a field and then they harvest it from that field. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build a road so we have kind of a structured area here. I think we have two workshops wide is fine. So let's build a little road here. And then we're going to build... Hmm, how do we want to do this? We could build the stockpiles on this side maybe. Okay, let's do that Okay, farm is... Oh, it doesn't like these squares. No, it's unhappy. Let's build kind of maybe narrow farms. No, not narrow. I don't know. Four by four should be enough. Yeah. Okay, we'll build several farms. 
course there's stuff in the way of our farms. This stuff cannot be allowed to be here because it is blocking our farming progress. Let's go ahead and conquer the rest of the area as well. Let's get this here. Aw, all those sheepy banging sounds. <laughs> That's great. And then here, okay, so wheat can only grow on specific kind of ground which is this like sandy color that's a little bit darker than the beach sand um so beer plus water and bread <laughs> one drink two are just satisfied yes uh but here we don't have any wheat and we cannot plant wheat in these places uh you can see that it's grayed out here because it's the wrong kind of soil um uh let us or let us see. Ask, uh, will this be multiplayer? Do you have any plans for that multiplayer? Mm -hmm. So at the moment, I'm focusing on the single player, um, just because multiplayer would add a huge amount of uh, complexity to the game. Uh, mm -hmm. I also don't have a lot of experience making multiplayer games, to be honest. So mm -hmm. at the moment, I will focus on making it single player only. OK, that makes sense. These kind of games, it's interesting when people ask for multiplayer because I don't really know how that would work. It's kind of an odd thing. I guess, um, I, I don't know if people would build different parts of it or they would like just control different colonists. Um, yeah, actually, I find it super uh, amazing that it works so well in Factorio. Ah, because yes. like, there's just so much <laughs> stuff going on and just to keep it all synced up with different well, players it seems sometimes amazing. it works and sometimes it doesn't it quite works. work <laughs> it okay depends okay, on okay. You're playing with i guess <laughs> <laughs> okay no it's just a joke but yeah it's it's kind of oh no that's not what i wanted oh i messed up oh dear no no okay thank you Okay, I do need to get a well. I've kind of forgotten about that part of it. Um, one should not forget their wells. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. I'm a bit distracted. I'm so excited to have Mirko here. And uh, but we're going to get everything sorted because we're going to have a good colony. All right, we need to get the well because, as you see, they water the crops. But what happened is we had rain to water it. Um, but otherwise, they do need to have uh, a water source so that they can get water here. So we'll put the well there. And we'll get our stockpile next to it. Make quite a big uh, water stockpile. And then you can pre-assign this stockpile for that. And have it take water. All's well that ends well, yes. <laughs> All right, and these these fields are complaining. You see, they have a flag. They're like, hello, you didn't finish. They want stockpiles to store all their stuff. So let's get a stockpile for each of them. See, that's eight squares. Let's add a little bit more just in case the inventory targets go up on us later. I want to delete a couple of trees. I mean, <clears throat> harvest them for wood. It's fine. <laughs> let's take this over here. Okay, great. Okay, so now the farmers have something to do. This is very good. Wood choppers are chopping away. You can see that the trees like kind of complaining. They're like, no, no. Uh, but wood is stacking up. This is great. Oh, we have claimed the whole island, I think, now. Yes. <laughs> Only pirates could tear it away from us. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get some of this rock. Now, that's one thing I've been afraid of, is running out of rock, but... I know that you've put in a thing in the game to get more resources, right? Yes, um, there is now a shipping port and you can use the shipping port to export items you have produced mm -hmm. and can uh, use Ooh. the coins you earn to import things. And uh, basically that allows you, if you want to, to complete the whole biome on the first island. Wow. Just because you can basically produce an infinite amount of uh, bread, for example, or beer, because uh -huh. you can grow all the ingredients you need. And um, yeah, if you do that, you can, um, if you like, uh, skip the other islands of the grassland biome. Interesting. I've noticed that it costs those three wooden parts. Those are one of the starting items. You could essentially build this shipping port right as you get on the island, if you take that kind of a colony uh, consist when you leave. 
yeah, uh, you make it sound like it's a very deliberate choice, but <laughs> which it is not. But, but, but uh, sounds like no, great it design. Is, yeah. It is, it is. <laughs> hey, there's no shame in assigning brilliancy. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so we have stuff here. We've got. We did we get everything off the ship? Yeah, yeah, we did. Okay. Um, so we need. I think people could use some tools. They're probably going to suffer a bit without tools. So I want to make some tools. We need more workshops. Um, and then more stockpiles to get all that stuff done. So we'll get, um, oh, but there's something else cool that I wanted to talk about with that. Yes. Okay. How do I want to do this? This is an inconvenient bonfire. It'll be fine. We'll just have some <clears throat> creative roading or something. Actually, they can go around with the roads. Or I could make a road here and then plant some, I think there's some nice decorative items that we're going to get soon. Okay, there we go. And they are going to produce stuff. You can actually produce multiple items at a, a single workplace. I kind of like to divide them by stockpiles and where I have them, but you could, you could have one workshop building everything if you really wanted to. So let's do, let's see. I mean, you can also have multiple output stockpiles for a single mm -hmm. workshop. So even if you have just one workshop, you can keep it all very tidy, if you like. Oh yes, I like it tidy. So this one I'm going to assign to stone blanks and wooden handles. Uh, I think that's what I want. And me... No, no, I'll have a different one for wooden parts. Okay, and I'll put down the stockpiles for those. Because we don't need that many of those. So with this, I'm just going to go this way. And I do need to feed it from stockpiles too. So I'm going to collect or connect uh, this stockpile with the boards here. Say hello. Excuse me. Oops, I got to click on the stockpile itself. There we go. And then click here. And then we'll click on this stockpile and then click to this workshop here. Um... <laughs> We have a question for you from chat. Uh, did you say they always use the on always only use the first tool from the left, or they can sometimes go farther to the right on their job list? Um, basically, there are four different types of tools, which are hammers, pickaxes, shovels, and um, swords or weapons. And um, they can only carry one tool at a time. And they will decide on which tool they take based on the first task they can do or they are assigned to do and um, they will actually not change the tool because that would imply them you know running around and finding a better tool which is uh, probably can be a bit unpredictable um, yeah they would probably just look around all day to find a new tool i think okay so i'm gonna get stockpiles mini stockpiles yay one, two, three, and four, just as I plan. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, so these are going to be the tools. So that one's going to be hammer. Um, oh yeah, poor, poor. We're looking at poor qualities. Stone shovel, poor. Uh, pickaxe, poor. And then sword pour. And there's an upgrade shop where you can upgrade these different things to other qualities. So, uh, which language do the colonists' names come from? Swedish? It's a question for the chat. Uh, I actually looked at um, like old Middle Age type uh, European names and Ooh, uh, nice. got a list from that and um, basically went for that. Um, some of the animals are named um, by people who supported the game on Kickstarter. If you <laughs> cool. click on a pig or a sheep or so, <laughs> these are all named by, by people. Uh -huh. And um, some coins are also named by people who supported the Kickstarter campaign. Um, but I still need a way, or I st I'm still not sure how to name the animals which have been added to the game since the Kickstarter. We could always do like, um, you know, I've seen some games, I don't know if they still allow that on Steam or not, but I've seen some games where they allow like an upgrade kind of a feature, like an extra support thing that they sell 
you know, quote unquote, like a DLC where you could um, support the game by buying a name into the game, like that. Mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. That might be a possibility. Okay, might be let's good, see. yeah. All right, we're still looking for all this stuff. We need. Uh, what am I looking for? Oh, basic workplace. That's right. We need some wooden parts so we can get our our um our ship area because I've never built one of those shipyards before, and I'm really curious um how to do that. Wait, what is it? Oh, it's junk on the ground. Yes, there is random junk on the ground that somebody has left there. They have not been <laughs> kind enough to pick it up. So it has to be deleted. There it goes. Take the trash with you, people. <laughs> okay, there we go. And then this one, we're going to make uh, the stuff. I'm going to make the stuff with that one. Yes. Very descriptive there. Uh, actually, we need a bigger stockpile for this. Let's just do the... Uh, no, like that. This one is going to make wooden parts. Now, wooden parts are funny, I find, because they need um, wooden boards, stone blocks, and wheat to be made. That's very sneaky. So, everyone, <laughs> remember when you when you have these things, they need the wheat. And like, Wait a second, why is this not working? Of course it doesn't work. Oh, well we have flowers blooming. Yay! Nice. Oh, we're getting harvests. Oh my god, we have strawberries for lunch. This is great. Everybody's like waiting for food. Oh, we are getting our inventory <laughs> targets filled as well. This is good. They don't pick up the trash, they hammer it into dust. <laughs> yes. I like this idea. Oh, it looks like I don't have enough storage spots for lo for wooden boards. Darn it. No. Um no i didn't plan well enough for this the sadness is extreme um <laughs> i think i might have to just put a stockpile elsewhere like yeah hide it behind the well nobody will notice it'll be fine yes okay it will be fine all right you put maybe stuff i can briefly explain how the um linking of the stockpiles works please do yes um, so um what you do need a side output stockpiles where the product products of a workplace will be placed. Mm -hmm. And you can also specify input stockpiles, which is when you link from a stockpile to the workshop. Mm -hmm. That is not required, but in some cases oh. you want to avoid people running around the whole map to fetch items. Right? Ah, so it's not required. And I didn't know that. It's not that's required. good information. Oh, okay. That's very handy. Well, I'm just looking at the boat requesting all so, this stuff. I think that boat so is really greedy. It's a thing. <laughs> so, so usually I do the very opposite of what you do. So I, oh I usually God. assign <laughs> input. <laughs> <laughs> I usually assign input uh, stockpiles only for the raw materials, like the rocks and the wooden blocks, ah, uh, right. just because those will be across the map everywhere, right? And they are mine. <laughs> yeah. And um, the rest will, you know, always be around the workplace anyway, so... Okay, oh, I didn't well. know that. I thought that was actually required to have all the linking. Okay, ignore my arrows. They're fine. Oh, <laughs> They're fine. Okay, all okay. good. Oh, oh, dear. <laughs> Chat is upset that nobody has houses and it's raining again. Hey, look, they have a picnic spot. And if they sit on the right bench, they might have a strip over them that prevents the water from getting on their heads. Yeah, yes. Oh, dear. Is there, wait, there must be, there's a way to turn the map, right? I've kind of forgot, oh, it's Q and E. I forgot about that. Um, I would, I, I'm used to using like middle mouse um, click to move from side to side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't know if that's an option that is a suggestion you might entertain. <laughs> so can you say again, like middle mouse okay. button? And... So yeah, middle mouse button right now, it moves the map. Let's see, what does right click? Mm -hmm. Either middle mouse click or right click to do the moving, the, the rotating of the world. Because mm -hmm. okay. right now it's just Q and E. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Chat is being mean. Oh no. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> yeah. Don't enter any landlord agreements with KOS. She'll just give you a strip for a roof. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nobody's working on this because guess what? I don't have any wheat yet. Okay, we need to make this. Okay, so I'm curious about this wheat farm here, which I can't seem mm -hmm. to get uh, a farm on. Do I need to cut down the wheat before making yes, it into yes, a yes. farm? Okay, so I have to delete yes. the wheat. Let's delete the. Okay, everybody, 
get your sides out. We're going to delete this wheat. Uh, it'll be fun. You can also alt click, alt click to uh, select all of one type. So <gasps> alt, alt click. click? On one. Oh my god, that's exciting. You can alt click. I mean, like when you have the the, the mining thing, like mm -hmm. alt. Exactly, exactly. Mining oh, and wow. mining alt. Key. No more rocks in the whole world. Oh dear. <laughs> that's <laughs> fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> harvest the wheat sounds better you know i would agree that harvest the wheat sounds better but we are gamers we believe in the word delete so we're deleting this wheat <laughs> i like this this chopping of the well it's like come on well i'm gonna beat you to death until i get the water out <laughs> look at this look. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's it no, you actually changed the animation, I think. Because before I think they used to use like a hammer and now they're like you know what? This is like a dance of joy that she's doing. Or he is doing. Oh, it's definitely a he, I think. Bearded. Um yeah, that would probably indicate a male colonist. So yes, Oswald. So that's funny. That's nice. It, it, instead of beating, because I, I remember that was like a pickaxe on the well to like, get the water, and now it's like a dance of rain dance. Like hooray, hooray! The water now. <laughs> More trees. There are plenty of trees. I just deleted the rocks, not the trees. Okay, we need a stockpile for wheat, I think. Um, but oh, this is actually a really good opportunity for us to um, show off one of the transport. Do we have any transport availability here? What can we make? Anything? Oh. Um, Zeppelins yet? I think they both require. Oh, the horse station mm -hmm. is working. The horse station? Oh, yes, we could do a horse station. Now, is that really useful, though? Because I think last time I did it, they only transported one piece of item at a time. Um. It depends on the situation. Um, <laughs> okay. I think uh, I think it is quite useful because it's basically just a free um, transport thing, right? Okay. You don't have any upkeep or anything, and um, your people right. are free to do something else. Right? Okay. So all right, I'll choose a horse station then, and we'll build one over here. Oh my gosh, there's stuff here. Um, all right, let's. We got to get out the axe. We need axes here. This is kind of rough, this area. We need a stockpile for wheat. Let's see what we can do with this. Oh, there's a tree in the middle of my wheat stockpile. That's inconvenient. Go, go away. Shoot. <laughs> Goes with the free horse, finally food. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to clear some of these rock deconstruction orders. Um... Wow, hey. There's all kinds of chests here that I haven't opened either. We should probably look at those soon. Soon, TM, it will be fine. All right, I kind of want to leave some of these trees because they look very decorative here. Um, but we are going to get a road going through here, I think. Let's get our road so this horse uh, station can, or the horse can travel on the road. We'll have a little bit of a bend because that's charming. Uh, I think that was gonna work. Okay, nice. Okay, we'll leave these trees because they do look very pretty. Okay, they cleared this area. I love these horses too. They look very cute. They're kind of adorable. Oh, little voxel horsies. They're shy. They're like turning away from the camera. Oh, <laughs> God, they're cute. Oh, okay, okay. Horse station incoming. Uh, here we come. There we go. Horse station. We can put this here and put the wheat stockpile behind it. Yeah, I think that might work really well. Alright, construct now a stockpile here. Yay! Okay, that's excellent. Okay, so now we need to get our farm made for the wheat area here. I'm just gonna kinda trace the stuff. So it doesn't add- oh boy, oh boy. Oh dear, that's not what I wanted. No! <laughs> I'll click from the correct direction. Nobody saw that. It'll be fine. There we go. The reason I didn't do the whole box is because I didn't want the little green areas in there because it's only going to be for wheat. There we go. Click it. Now this wheat also, like the other crops, does need water. So I'm going to go ahead and make a water, um, water harvesting area. 
<laughs> composed of a well and a stop. So I oh that's right somebody asked in chat earlier and I forgot to ask you about this. Um, they were asking about um, if you could use like this inland lake for water, or if that's or you always have to use wells. Mm, currently, you have to use wells. Um, I'm not quite sure yet if I want to change it. Um, I think the wells are pretty efficient, so it's very fast to get water out of them. Okay. Um, so, in an earlier version of the game, uh, people would actually drink from the lakes and drink from the... the... Oh, nice. But now uh, they demand uh, stuff from us. Are you telling us that you made the game worse? <laughs> 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 it's a very loaded question, I feel. Yeah. <laughs> just slightly, just slightly. <laughs> I'm giving you more of a challenge because I believe in you, if you put it like that, oh, right? Oh, that's a very good way of putting it. <laughs> that's funny. <Thank> you. <laughs> oh, oh, yep. Thank you very much for the one hour drink alert. <laughs> I think that Stay Hydrated bot always leaves my channel for some reason. I don't know why. I have not done anything. Oh. Oh my god, the food is overflowing, look at this! Well, not overflowing yet, but it will be overflowing soon. Uh, we have, we have, uh, yes, we have thoughts on this. Okay, so we just need to get people. So, the other thing that's kind of cool in the game uh, is the ability to assign an area to people. Right, so if I choose this bonfire and say, okay, this is now the yellow wheat zone, um, that person can let's also assign this one. So I can have one person here doing the farming and the uh, the well stuff, and then people wouldn't be like running back and forth to the different areas of the colony. So let's do that. Oh, here's our horse cart. Oh my God, look at that horse. So proud, ready to go. Oh, so cute. Hello, horsey. You're very cute. Sorry, I get very cute. <laughs> Workshop is idle. I don't know why. Workshop, hello. This is for you. Yes, you want- why is there a flag here? I don't know why there's a flag. Mm. Ah, because it is now in the yellow zone, and we have oh. no colonists, which is- uh, So it tells me if I don't have colonists. <gasps> wow, okay, that's the smart system. Hello. Um, it would be nice though if it said something that- like. Yeah, the error flag. message is bugged. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. No worries. We're going to assign somebody, hopefully, who is good at well and good at farming. Uh, let's see. Who is sort of useful? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How about Fordlinda? You will be in the yellow zone. No, 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 no. Like this. Go away. Okay. And you're going to do the farming and the welling and the transport of good. Is there a, there's not a, a tick box for transport. I think everybody helps with transport of goods. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, transport is always the lowest priority. So if they have nothing else to do, they will transport. But I could, I could assign my favorite pig to that zone as well. Like ham solo. Mm -hmm. I think we'll assign mm -hmm. ham, ham out there <laughs> to the yellow zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we have questions of, let's see, uh, can people die? Is there a reason to level up people in multiple skills or is it always best to just keep the same person on the same job? Mm -hmm. So uh, people cannot die, so um, they can get hurt, in which case they will sleep a lot until they recover, but uh, they will not die. And um, basically people get better at the tasks they do. And the increase is actually exponential, so um, it Ooh. really makes a difference if someone is level, wow. you know, three and level six. So it it makes sense for an optimal play style um, uh -huh. to specialize. Okay, yeah. so I should definitely be more careful on my uh, on my choosing of skills on the management screen, right? Uh, or at least pass the beam maybe, maybe <laughs> make more make more efficient. Well, like this person, well, Burga is doing great. Uh, does the farming, all the things. I keep worrying, like, they'll run out of stuff to do, though. Do pigs gain XP from carrying stuff? <laughs> That's uh, a question from no. chat. 
They do not. So ca carrying is the only task where you do not get experience. Oh, but that poor the... pig. Don't disappoint that pig. The pig is like, no, that... I'm doing my best. I'm carrying so well. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Um, but movement speed is influenced by how happy your people are, so... Okay. Oh, my... Really? Oh, I didn't know that. I did not know that. So I, I should make them houses, right? <laughs> hey, coffee color. <laughs> yeah, you're in Germany, is that right? Yeah, correct. Yes, okay. I live in Germany. All right, great. Um, let's see... <laughs> Peps, finally! I know Peps is from Germany as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so while well, Berga is... She's kind of having a time here, though. So, okay, we want to set up this um, this horse thing to... Let's see, where did we want our stockpile for stuff? This is our maker place for making things. I think we should have a big stockpile for... Um, for these items for the wheat because we're gonna have it made into beer as well so let's just make sure that we can get that going there we are um so this stockpile will, will assign to wheat now then i sort of forgot <laughs> we talked about this uh, <laughs> about a month ago i guess so what i want to do is we want to get this horse station to deliver to this horse station so what i want to do is we'll link it that way i think across the uh, mm -hmm. screen there and then mm -hmm. i want to have this horse station taking wheat into the stockpile but i don't mm -hmm. need to choose a, an I item in the icons is that correct uh you do need for the stockpile where you want to have it stored but not the station, right? The horse station. Not the station, not the station. Okay, so we're just going to have them um, doing that. So from here, we need to say stockpile go to horse station, the north, the, I guess, east, mm -hmm. northeast one. Okay, so now it should go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, Demos Dan, yep. how are you doing? <laughs> you don't want people to sleep on the roads, Peps. It's a rough life. They, they're sleeping on the street. <laughs> I think I may need another person in this area. There's a lot to do because she's got to do all the wells. I, I thought, oh, yeah, there'll be time when the crops grow and all that. But I don't think so. I think, oh, but the pig. Look at this pig, a boss pig helping carry stuff. Oh, and the horse. Okay, so where's the horse? Horse? Do I, I think it's out of the tree. <laughs> It's under the tree. Oh, yes, I see it under the tree. So when is it going to go? Is uh, you need to assign the stations to the schedule. So they're like a oh. like a train. So okay. You can have it go to multiple stations if you like. So do I need to click the horse itself? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, I see. Okay, so no schedule defined. Let's go from here. No. Okay, that didn't work. Ah, right click on the station. Oh, oh you right click. Ah, yes, I should follow mm -hmm. the instructions. Okay, right click on... No, not the pig. <laughs> it didn't take the pig, thank goodness. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh, and it's already going. Go. Train deactivated. All right. So, horse station ah, yeah. two, two, one. Okay, it's gonna do, it's, it's doing it's doing a trial run. It's fine. It's like, no, we got to go around these trees. We're... <laughs> Formula One off horse off road racing with the horse. <laughs> now the animals. Somebody is asking in chat, what do the pigs eat? They do actually eat food from the stalks, right? Okay, it mm -hmm. seems to be a little bit unhappy with this situation. It's kind of running into here. <laughs> ah, you stopped it um, on oh, the I right. Yeah. Uh, oh. Wait, okay. Says stop. Okay, because to me this means press triangle to actually go. Ah, okay, okay. So, I see. But that may be me be being dyslexic because I am very highly dyslexic. That is true. Oh no! Look at she's got it under control. Walburga is a boss. Check that out. She's like snipping all the wheat, <laughs> and Pig is like, yeah, I can take this wheat. It's fine. Oh, this is great. This might be enough to have one person here. I think. Yeah. 
Ah, Dimastan, it can be said Cubifactorium, or Cubifactorium, or any other accent you desire. Yeah, I, I prefer the Russian pronunciation, but... Uh... Cubifactorium. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. It is gorgeous, isn't it, coffee? Oh, it's great. Oh, and here we have tools being made. Tools have been made. So people are like, Sh he's like, no, I already got a tool. I'm fine. Thanks. I just want a house now. Like KOS, give us a house. He's carrying that tool in a very interesting way. I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're just going to leave him alone. He has very curious proclivities, but it'll be fine. It will be fine. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> you haven't seen that they made anything cubicle like a house? Mmm. There goes chat again. <laughs> yes, thank you. Okay, look at Wellberger. She's a boss. But I need more horses. So can I assign this horse as well? This horse looks lazy. Yeah, He's like, yeah, he yeah you can. You can. Okay. Oh, nice. So I can go here to here. Okay, so I. I, I think it would be to explain a little bit, bit how how this system works. I, I found it fascinating when I learned about this. So this uh, stockpile is actually requesting goods from this stockpile, right? Mm -hmm. That that's how um, that's yes. how it works. It's like it's not just this one will overfill stuff and then this horse station will get clogged and stuff mm -hmm. like this. It only goes if there's room in this stockpile to get more um, mm -hmm. of the wheat. So basically, um, the logistic system allows you to connect multiple transport systems together. Mm -hmm. So you can have train stations, zeppelins, horses, and so on. Uh -huh. And um, it will automatically find a route for each good um, to a requested place. So this is a very simple setup where you only have two stations. Um, mm -hmm. You could actually even make it even simpler by removing the stockpiles. So just having uh -huh. two stations. Okay. Um, but um, if you have, for example, a train for long range transport, uh -huh. they will, you know, bring it to the horse station, the horse will transport it to the train station, and it will go from there. Wow, and, and it does um, that automatically? Wow. It does, it does. Holy fuzzy and, cats, uh, that is awesome. I most of the I time heard. it also works. So. <laughs> <laughs> most of the time it also works. <laughs> What do you say? LTN is LHN. Yes, Swally, I agree. There's, I don't know if you're familiar with the mod for Factorio Logistics Train yeah, Network. I am, I am. Yeah, Logistics Horse Network. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> but it's working. I mean, we're seeing the horses are getting the wheat. The pigs are like, you know, pig solidarity. Yeah, you transport it to yours, I'll transport it to mine. It's fantastic. Oh, yes. <laughs> Where's this pig? Did he get lost? Hello? That was ham. Ham, Solo, where are you? Oh no, we lost the pig. Oh dear. But Wahlberger, yeah. man, she's got it under control here. I don't know where we lost this pig to. I really have no idea. <laughs> no, can we find him? Can we? Can we look? Uh, in yeah, you can go to the list of. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ham. Oh, he was just taking a break. He's fine. He's fine. Okay, so our colonists are moving slowly because they have no food, no water, no no happiness. But these guys are moving faster, mm -hmm. I think, because they do now have food and stuff. Oh, okay. they are desiring so, everything, but how they need houses. Yeah, I think we need houses. <laughs> so two things you can do. Um, uh -huh. One thing is you can um, assign the wheat stockpile to the workplace, so that wouldn't oh, pass. I forgot about that. Okay, so this is what I don't understand. It's like you said that you don't have to assign any stockpiles. So why aren't yeah. they pulling the wheat automatically into this stock Be into this yeah. thing? Because as soon as you assign one in stockpile, it will assume all things will have to be in the input stockpile. Ah, it's not very well okay. explained, so I don't blame you for not. Uh, okay, right. Okay, no, this. It, no, but it makes sense. Like, so if one stockpile is assigned, it's like, okay, we are going the strict system here. This is the KOS yeah. micromanagement system. <laughs> <laughs> so you only take from where we tell you to take. Right. <laughs> All right. I get. I get that though. It works. Okay. So we're gonna have this happen, and we're gonna get pigs or somebody delivering. Um. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and I kind of agree, Peps. The only thing is that you do you are getting a free horse. I mean, you don't have to feed it or pat it, which is kind of sad. I think we need horse patterns <laughs> in the game. We need, we need somebody to take care of these horsies. <laughs> but they, they aren't very good at following. Well, they're sort of okay at following the roads, I guess. Okay, they're fine. No, no, this one's going off road again. <laughs> they love going around the street. This, this is like the, the horse meeting point around the street. <laughs> Oh, hey, Darachi, I love that idea. Horse stack size research. Yes. Could you, <laughs> yes. you know, could we have a research where you, like, increase the horse carriage to carry two items? Because, you know, the bed of this little yeah. little thing yeah. looks, like, kind of long. You could have two items on there. Yeah, I like this idea. <laughs> so, um, maybe a good place to mention that the game will be moddable. So mod support oh, is already support. partially in the game. Woo that's gonna be great oh my goodness and steam workshop is also going to come so um, nice if you want to add something like that not specifically the horse carriage because that will need to be adapted so uh -huh. make moddable but um, okay. many things like uh, different sizes of train stations for example that will be that is already changeable mm -hmm. in modding Oh, that's so cool. I'm excited to see what's going to come out. Oh my god, our first wooden part! Oh my goodness, we're two away from getting a, uh, a ship thing. That's awesome. Okay, that's great. Okay, we need to probably destroy these treasure... or <clears throat> deconstruct the treasure chests. <laughs> that's the proper word. Yes, and we have berry bushes as well. We don't probably need to get those. But, um, so one thing that I've noticed is if anyone's wondering, like, why we need stockpiles is these, like, individual pieces of stone, they each take up one square or one tile. But in a stockpile, they are compacted. So you could have, like, four stone per tile. You can have a whole bunch of wood per tile. I have no idea how many this is, but, like, four clay. Some of the things stack much higher as well, which is kind of cool. And then other things don't stack at all, like, um, the swords... They don't stack, um, so yeah. Mm -hmm. They walk on the south side of the road if the tree is in the way. They want houses. Oh, I'm I'm being. <clears throat> I should not apparently build a ship until they get houses. You know what? They might need houses. I think Wahlberg is probably the hardest working person here, so I'm gonna build her a house first. Let's see what we can. Oh, <laughs> a bakery and a greenhouse as well. So we still need wooden boards and stone blocks. So apparently, we're not making enough of those. Should we build her a nice house or a basic house? I think she deserves a nice house, don't you think? Let's let's build this here. Um, e oh no, we'd have to cut down some trees to put it right there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's worth it. We'll cut down those two trees. But I think I'm gonna put this. Oh, we need to have her. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna change this to the red zone for now. And, uh, well, Berga can just do red zone stuff as well. I'll just select she's allowed in both zones. And pig also. Ham. Hello, ham. There you go. Because that's one mm. thing... That's one thing that I was kind of looking at before is, like, when you want to make a construction in a different colored zone, What what is the mm -hmm. best way to do that? Like, reassign the zones like I've just mm -hmm. done? Or do you, like, need to import the materials via horse carriage? Or... How does yeah. that work? So, both ways would work. So, what I personally usually do is that I have one construction worker who has all zones assigned, so he can access ah. all ingredients and all. Oh, that's a great idea. That's sites. much smarter than I just did. Okay, let's let's fix this. That was kind of dumb what I just did. I didn't think about that. Oh, geez. Okay. Yep. Mm. Brain brain is not working on all cylinders. It'll be fine though. It always is. Um, okay, let's click on our people. There's a menu. There we go. And Wilberga, Ham, you go away. Uh, Wilberga. No! Oh my god, I've been calling her the wrong name! She's actually Frodo Linda! Oh no! Oh dear! Oh no! Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry! Oh my goodness! Okay, okay, nobody noticed! It'll be fine! Jeez. Okay, I'm gonna turn the world here so we can organize her house to face the right direction. Nice house. Uh, I forgot how to rotate. Is it R? Yeah, it's R. Great. Yep, stairs in the front. There we go! Okay. And now I'm going to assign a constructor, <clears throat> which um, 
probably should have happened from the very get-go. Actually, I want to assign a constructor and a um, person who can do chopping. Oh, wow. Guntrich. Guntrich is awesome at these jobs. Okay, you're going to be in all the zones, please. I'm just going to take him off of the other things. Excuse me. There we go. Nice. All right, great. This works really well. Okay, so we have a question. Um, are there cats in the game without modding? By the way. Um, cats are not in the game, <laughs> unfortunately, Ooh. at the moment. Okay, they will be, though, right? Because we need cats. You need cats? Yes, we need okay. cats. For sure. And I know yes, people will need it. dogs as well. Are there dogs? No, there are no dogs. Oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> I guess I guess you also need dogs, okay? okay. Let's put it on my list. <laughs> <laughs> I give up, okay? <laughs> no, I think I think people love seeing their like you know their friendly pets that they love and and uh, and cherish. Though I do love all the farm animals too. Oh my goodness, we're getting a cat training chat. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, let's see. Also, let's see. We have uh, also. Where in Germany are you from? By the way. Um, I live in uh, St. Augustin. It's uh, near Bonn, which was the former capital of Germany. Oh, nice. Oh, the, that's right. You already answered that. Pardon me. I'm reading chat. <laughs> oh, my God. No, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's see. All the Equip zone, tools from all zones, but not food. Oh, my goodness. See, I'm having to... This is this is, this is very... Um, I, I have to have... Um, what do you call it? Multitasking going on. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> hey mango how are you doing no no they're coming cats and dogs are coming you heard it straight from the dev <laughs> no, it's awesome that you have this selection that you have it's awesome <laughs> oh oh we have a linux fan <laughs> yeah <Corinne. laughs> does it run yes. on linux it does yes oh, it does tasty nice hey that's great actually i'm uh, i'm developing on linux so, um, oh, yeah. that's nice. I know we have a lot of Linux fans uh, in, in my Discord and uh, watching stuff. So that's uh, awesome. Nice. Okay, so I need to focus on what I want to do. Oh my god, we have three parts of happiness. Look at this. We can build a shipyard. Do we want to build a shipyard? That's the question. Um, I guess we should. Or we could build... <clears throat> We, we probably shouldn't even look at that word house there. I know people in chat are going to complain slightly about this. But we can build Zeppelin stations. Oh. So I had a question. What is the difference between a Zeppelin depot and a station? Mm -hmm. It seems like so, they're the same um, thing. Mm -hmm. So um, basically the depot comes with a crane, which uh -huh. will allow you to automatically load and unload goods onto your depot and ah. um, this will come into play later on when it's conveyor belts and so on so for now the simple zeppelin station is perfectly fine okay but in the later parts of the game the depot will be useful okay all right that makes sense oh conveyor belts i get to get excited about those oh dear <laughs> <laughs> okay so um here we have our our port now, does the port move stuff around the island? Like, um, uh, like, can you have boats transporting stuff? Well, um, the things you export are transported away from your island. Uh -huh. And um, the things you import are transported <laughs> from outside to your island. <laughs> okay. So. okay, so no boat uh, logistics right now. Let's see, where exactly. can I no put water. this thing? I'm concerned about these red zones. It's it's looking very pink for me at the moment. Can I put it down? It doesn't appear to be happy where I'm selecting it to go. Oh, it likes over here. But it does not like over here, which I really would love to put it here. I mean, you can just rotate it. Rotate it? Okay. I think I have a different idea. Oh, now it's happy. Oh, it wants its ships to come in from a particular angle. I see. I see. It's very picky, this. Mm -hmm. That's fine. It's fine. I think I'll put it here, right next to the road. Okay, mm -hmm. good. All right, nice. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, I thought somehow that... Never mind. It's, uh, yeah, I thought this this back part was supposed to go toward the land so the ships could pull in straight, straight in, like from the ocean, that way. But it's a little bit different, I see. That's good. 
Okay, let's mm -hmm. see. Let me do a road. Oh, I can't build a road there. Okay. No roads on the beach. Not a thing. Is the house done? I don't... Oh, the house is done! Oh, check out these voxel graphics. Oh my god, the decoration on the roof. Holy fuzzy cats. I'm going to Norway next week. I'm going to see lots of those like little um, <laughs> awesome things. I hope we'll go see the stave church as well. I have seen the one in Oslo. It's beautiful. Wow. Oh my god, the voxel goodness. Tasty. Okay, so who lives here? We have people living in a zone they don't they don't own. Is that a, is that okay? Oh, we have Guntrich. Oh, he's fine. He's fine. He's he helped construct this house. It's fine that he lives mm -hmm. here. That's a good yeah. idea. But the pig doesn't get to live here. So pig has no house. Does he need a house? Like, <laughs> is there like a stable in the game or a uh, animal yeah, thingy? Yeah. Okay, I think I remember uh, it's one a of barn, those. Barn, I think. Yeah. Barn. Okay, decorative bush. Very nice. Oh, there's a very nice house. Well then. Okay, brewery. I'm sure people are excited for us to get to the bakery and the brewery, but we still haven't gotten our wooden board target yet. Um, let's see. Where is the barn? I missed it somewhere. Oh, here we go. Inventory targets finished. Oh, wow, we've won. Look at this. Woohoo. Okay, so <laughs> we want to raise the target. So normally, this is the point, right, where you can go to a new island and find new people and new pigs and new spiders and stuff, <laughs> right, to, like, adopt into your colony. But I think it's probably more time efficient for the stream if we kind of, like, um, raise the target and just keep building bigger. Okay, so let's do this. All right, so all we need now are 20 wooden boards. All right. We can raise it even more, right? Okay, so, we, so mm -hmm. we know like what we need for the end game here. Let's just do the whole thing. Okay, I think it's done doing stuff. Mm -hmm. So I changed in the last patch. You need about seventy-five percent to proceed to the next bio. Ah, okay, that's cool. That's cool. Top. Oh yeah, I I I uh, I found that <laughs> bee chemist. I was like, uh, I was thinking about like. Uh, you know, we could have this pig barn, like, right behind here. The pig definitely deserves I mean, he's, like, he's single, single hoofedly <laughs> transporting all, all, all the stuff. You know, we'll put it, we'll put it here. That'll be fine. This pig needs a place to rest his tired hoofs. Pigs have hoofs, right? Is that a thing? No, they have, they have cloven feet, which are hoofs. I don't remember. Oh my god. You know, I don't spend a lot of time around pigs, so I have no idea. <laughs> I was okay. wondering where you were going with it. <laughs> I'm not even sure. It will be fine. <laughs> Trotters, they have hooves. <laughs> Thank you, Boku. Google. <laughs> Pigs have trotters. That sounds like isn't that like a shoe brand? They're like these these pigs are wearing designer shoes. I like this idea. <laughs> okay, so we need a whole bunch of stuff. We need wooden boards, wooden parts. Oh my gosh, my stockpiles are gonna be insufficient for this. Alright, it'll be fine though. We need bread. We need lunch boxes. We need some tea. Strawberry donuts. Wow, they're getting excited about stuff. Logs. Mined clay. Now that's gonna be a problem, but not anymore because we have a shipping station. We can we need to buy the clay, I think, because we don't have any more <laughs> mountains to to delete. Hmm. Let's see. We have Okay, so shipping port. We have to sell stuff because things actually cost money here. Let's see. We can sell beer, bread, stone pickaxes. Can we sell logs? No, probably not. Oh, here's a ship. Oh my god, it's coming in. Oh, it's a very bargey barge. Okay, without a sail. But it's it's coming in. It's very slow. You know what looks awesome in a game? It's ships with sails. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah, them. That's I a really good point, actually, them. yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know where we would place them, though. In the middle? Or... Yeah, you could, you could put it in on the side that's just slightly, like, just before the, the crane thing. Yeah. Know, as it comes in. I don't know. <laughs> but the crane would clip through the sails. Oh, because yeah. the crane moves. Mm. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. We could suspend reality though for a while to have sales. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. 
<laughs> okay, let's see. They also take wooden boards, wooden handles, wooden parts. We're not parting with our wooden parts. We need those things. Uh, we could sell them water. There's a lot of water to be sold. There's a ton over here. We probably need more pigs, though, to transport all this water around. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. But it's oh, if you want to export something, you just uh, select a stockpile and right-click on the shipping port. Okay. Okay. Um, wow, beer is very cheap. That's surprising. I'm surprised that it's only worth two. Because it does take people time to make it and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, But very... you also get two at once, right? Oh, do you? Okay. So per, for each crafting, you uh, get two uh, okay. bottles of beer. You know what? We need beer. to make some beer, I think. We need to figure out how this is made. Um, all right. Look, let's, 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 I'm going to put down some houses here. We have our bakery, which makes bread, lunchbox, and strawberry donuts. And then we have a brewery, which makes beer and tea. I wonder if I should do two bakeries. Nah, we'll just do one for now. Let's do... Let's see one. How many do they want? Ten donuts. That's a lot of donuts. I love the way the donuts stack, though. They're like a stack of five. It's adorable. Oh, man. Those are so fun. <laughs> how about parachute sales? How, how are they called? Um, your reality is overrated. That's Troop Tarak. Um, Tarak says, Anno, for example, has amazing graphics, but they don't worry about stuff clipping through mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yeah, I think I would add oh, sales. That makes sense. Oh my god, this is great. Look at this crane in action. <laughs> this is fantastic. Oh, that is so nice. I like this. I like this. That's so good. <laughs> it's almost rubber bandy. It's very funny looking. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Oh, that is so satisfying. Oh wait, where's where's money? Where does money happen? Is that where where does that show on the screen somewhere? Um, if you select the shipping port, it will tell oh, you. It's right there. Okay, so it's like the people in the shipping port are like, no, we're we're keeping it safe from the KOS. We're just having it in our coffers here. It's <laughs> okay, we have a bakery. We want to do. We have three different meals, and we need several. We need donuts, and we need lunch boxes and bread. Ten of each. Uh, I forget how many they stack, but let's make small stockpiles for these. Like three long. Oh, no. Meow, meow. We'll do more. Because our people are hungry people. We're not going to deny them food. It's fine. <clears throat> okay, we're going to make all the things here. So these require water, um, wheat, and these, uh, the lunch boxes require tomatoes, I think, wait, uh, yes, strawberries and tomatoes, and then the donuts require water, wheat, and strawberries, so yeah. I'll see you later, Boku, thank you so very much for the gift subs, it's so kind of you, have a great day. Thank you, Love you. yes. <laughs> Descriptions for the donuts. Unhealthy but irresistible. <laughs> That's great, yes. Okay, so first stockpile we'll choose... Oh, wait! No, we don't have any... Oh, we do have bread. Okay, never mind. Slight panic about no bread, but there actually is bread. It'll be fine. Bread, lunchbox, and donuts. There we go. Nice. That's great. Hey, Steve, how are you doing? Okay, so now we're going to get ourselves a brewery. Which is going to take the wheat and the flowers and make them into drinks for our colonists. So let's do that. Hmm. I think I'm going to make. By the way, um, yeah. If you want, you can um, use the horse stations to transport food back to your colony, um, because ah, they don't have anything yes. to eat. Yes. Yeah, I know. I know they're pretty hungry. She's like, okay, had my limits here. So probably, what is she? Do I know what she likes or wants, or does she care? She doesn't care. She doesn't care. <laughs> At this point, she doesn't care. <laughs> and she has no socialization either. Oh no! You know, but she she could be, she's, she's she's a hermit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fine. So, oh, okay. So let's see. What what do we want to feed her? Let's feed her some. You know what? Give her the strawberry donuts. How about that? <laughs> I'll build a stockpile. This stockpile, I want to see how this works if I have to, like, 
organize this. Right. Strawberry donuts. And so we need this horse station to go to here. Okay. And then this horse station goes back there. And so mm -hmm. do I need to collect, get the donuts to go into this first horse station? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So let's just do this. That's the first donut. <laughs> the first donut. Yes, it looks very tasty. I can't believe this woman passed it by. She's like, she should have just snagged it as she's running by. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, she's lonely. I know it's very. Oh, no, pig. Hey, she's going to get the first donut off the assembly line. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> and the pig didn't need it either. Oh, man. <laughs> smog in the air now? No, I don't think so. I think it's just fog, right? It's not smog. I don't think we're we're burning anything or that much of anything. Oh, oh, horse, horse is taking donut. This is great. That is one big donut, I have to say. It's like half the size of a horse. <laughs> <laughs> is hey, it good or bad? <laughs> <laughs> no, she's gonna eat this for days. She's gonna be, oh my god, I finally got food. <laughs> the KOS is thinking about me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. And the pig, pig has to resist as well. Where is the pig? Where's Ham? Ham, where are you? Probably just wandering off somewhere. Did I, did I restrict him back? Ham solo? Yeah, oh uh, yeah, I did. Oh boy, this is so funny. Is she gonna eat that donut? Nope, here's the pig. Hey piggy pig. This pig, he gets out of his zone something fierce. Cause that is not in his zone, wherever he was. He was out here somewhere. I'm I'm not I'm not buying this. Oh look, pig is tired. Pig is tired and on fire slightly. Oh dear. Oh, <laughs> 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 well then, <laughs> it was it, it was just keeping warm. That's all. <laughs> A life preserver sized donut. <laughs> yes, it's good. Oh my god. Oh boy. Okay, so. I forgot your name again. For the Linda, you have a donut. Wait, where did the donut go? Did she eat it? Did the pig <laughs> eat it? She didn't get it. No, pig had donut. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, oh my gosh. This is rough times. Pig transported then ate it. Whoa, another donut is coming. Okay, but you know, production here is quite slow. We might need another bakery i think <laughs> uh because yeah this is getting a bit rough all right so i'm gonna build another bakery um let's see can i i can copy this this is one really cool thing you can clone buildings and it clones all the connections to all the stockpiles so if i had stockpiles feeding this building it would also clone those connections i love that that's such a great user friendly thingy oh that's so good so good Okay, so we'll have them build this. Uh, all right, we need stockpiles for the beer making for the brewery. Okay. Oh, and... I should say by maybe that um, my main design process is playing the game a lot myself and just uh -huh. making a lot of notes like what would be to do now and uh, oh, what cool. would be convenient and what is annoying and so on. And... Uh -huh. Yeah, basically, I just make a big list of things and write it all down and, you know, do like a scrum type um, development cycle every uh -huh. day or so. That is so cool. Things. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to have this place. Yeah, we're going to have two people working at bakeries. Well, if we have the people. I don't know if we have enough people, actually. Can we import people? Oh, oh my god, uh, 42 <laughs> coins! This is great! <laughs> How much is a person? Let's see. <clears throat> <laughs> actually, actually, there was a bug uh, where you could uh, import animals and everything, and it was on by default, so it would just import like enemies, like spiders and so on. <laughs> it's like, like, what the hell is going on? Like, such, a, such a weird, oh, that's so such funny. a weird <laughs> bug. Oh my god, that is so funny. Oh man. So, okay. So, have you chosen, um, let's see, these goods 
specifically or is there ever a chance like where you cannot meet your inventory targets is that is that a possibility or can the shipping port basically well i see that you can get uh clay and rock can you get like ores as well because i don't see any ores on here i know mm -hmm. we need those later yeah later on in the desert biome you will be able to import ores okay so it is uh, restricted by the biome you are on and you can only import raw resources, raw materials. Okay. And you can on, only export things you have produced, like, uh, yeah. <laughs> LOL, Yaman, bacon for the donuts. <laughs> oh my god. Oh dear. Telephone books of notes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes, I'm, I, I make it rough for people. That's, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's fine. It will be fine. Don't worry. I have some pieces of paper already <laughs> filled up, so <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right, I want to check and make sure that I have um, people that are their only job is working at a bakery. Let's just check the colonist management thing. All right, bakery. Who works at the bakery? Jeez. I've got Minehild, Bernolf, Mulberga. Is anybody else not? Okay, you're not. Bjorn is not great at this. Okay, here. You know what, dude? You're gonna work at the brewery. Hey, score. All right, Bjorn. That's your new job. Have fun. Um, <laughs> bakery. Who? Okay, this is the best people in the bakery. Wow, these people are really good at farming. Bernolf? I think Bernolf can go. Because we have a lot of farmers already. So I think you're gonna go there. And then you can do basic workplace afterward. Sure. All right, good. Wow, we've got stuff. Look at this. We have tea. Tasty, nice. Importing biters. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you couldn't complete the entire game on the grasslands map then. You could only do just the, um, mm -hmm. just the grasslands part. Okay, so you do have to travel to another to another island. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, here we go. We're taking. So the um, the grassland and the desert is um, already sort of finished by now, or at least mm -hmm. largely playable. Oh, nice. Um, then there will be two more biomes which are not done yet. Okay. Um. So basically, now you have to play on two islands to see the whole content, which is okay. sort of finished. Right, I'm gonna just try to import some of this clay while we can here. I guess I need to have a specific size stockpile. It says I need 50. This is probably just short of that. Maybe 48. I don't know. Let's count this. 9, 10, 11. 11 times 4 is 44. So I need to have uh, two more squares. Let's just make this bigger by two squares. <clears throat> and don't overproduce this. Good, good. Getting some mm -hmm. lunch boxes, getting some. We're not getting any donuts or bread. These poor people are like baking and baking and they're like hitting the bakery. Come on, build stuff for <laughs> me. Let's go. <laughs> now, that's a good question, Peps. Why are they transporting water to the port and taking it back to the farms? Oh, are they? Uh, that could they be are, a bug. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah, see, they're. Yeah, they're... That's the bug. Okay, these are bringing it in, but I did see them taking it away. Like this person right there. They're, yeah. they're, they must have taken... Oh, we're getting clay! Yay! Okay, so that's going to be finished on here. We need more wooden handles, looks like it, as well. So those, I think we have very few of them. We need... Oh, it's messing up my tiny stockpiles. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> it's, it'll be fine. We'll, we'll just have, like, this random land of miscellaneous trees will be the land of random stockpiles. We'll do it that way. We just need one more square, I think, of handles. Hmm. So if if a stockpile isn't linked mm -hmm. to an out, like if I don't link this to the, the the workshop that makes the handles, is it gonna get any handles? By the way, um. Can you repeat the question? I didn't quite understand. So I have an extra stockpile for wooden handles on the right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I don't like, I okay, we have a workplace which is making handles. Will mm -hmm. this stockpile ever put them in the mini stockpile if I don't link it? Or does it have to be linked? Uh, no. Oh. So you can either link the other 
um, stockpile, which is um, outputted from the workplace to that new stockpile. Oh. And then people will transport it there. Uh -huh. Or alternatively, you can um, assign it also as, a, as an output stockpile to the workplace okay. and um, give it lower priority, for example. That would also work. How? Oh, I haven't even looked at the priority. Oh, that's amazing. Yes, that's cool. Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. So actually for um, exporting, that is really useful Ooh. because you can have a little bit of a stock for yourself, right? Uh -huh. And yeah. the access will then go to the... It's the export port. stockpile. Okay. Now this is something that I don't want to happen. We have way too much clay being uh, transported because we only need two stacks and one piece. And now we're overboard on that. Is that because they haven't transported this to the stockpile yet? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, that is the reason. Uh, if I disconnect the link to the stockpile, will it stop importing the clay? Oh, like, yes. Okay, yes. I can do that. And then... But they'll t they're will they gonna take it anyway, I think. Right? Off the dock? Probably. <laughs> that is a scenario I've probably. tested. Probably. I like... Probably. Oh, area of testing! Alright, that's great. <laughs> We're finding areas of testing. This is good. This is good. I like this. It's fine. Oh. Uh, Oh. I have a set of around 300 different tests, which are run wow. automatically uh, whenever uh -huh. I build the game. But oh this is not among them, so... <laughs> okay. It's all good. No worries. We need to make this stockpile bigger. We need... These things don't stack very much. They stack, like, what, two to a pile or something? Parts? Yeah. All right, we have 15 in here. That's... Yep. Yeah. Two to a pile, so we need 40 in a pile. We need more boards. So I think I'm going to need another boards pile as well. We need 40, and this is, what, four per each square. Oh, they're storing them over here. Oh, boy. Okay. So we have one, two, three, seven times four is 28. And I need 40. So we need lots of squares of those. No, wait. So, by the way, um, if you want to proceed to the desert biome, um, uh -huh. we could just cheat that if you like. Um, it depends. I mean, I guess it would take like 15 or 20 minutes more to... Yeah, it would. Would you guys like to, to see in chat, would you like to see the desert biome? Because I think that would be kind of nice. We'll have to kind of start a new mm -hmm. colony, but we're going to get ores straight away and I'll try to build faster. Okay, let's go to the desert then. Okay, we have we have one person <laughs> saying yes, desert. Okay. <laughs> oh, many people okay. saying yes. Okay, great, great, good, great. Good, good, good. So how do we cheat our way to the desert? So okay. normally you have to get the inventory targets, then it says you win mm -hmm. the game, and then you can leave the island. Mm -hmm. That's how this normally proceeds. So what are we going to mm -hmm. do to get past that? <laughs> so you click on uh, leave island in the top left. Okay. And leave island and then just leave island i have clicked it is oh it is having an issue oh that is that's oh, unfortunate yeah. we might have crashed <laughs> but i think there is there, there might be an, okay we're closing the program at the moment there is we'll no auto back. save so yeah it'll be fine it will be fine it's okay, an okay, access. Okay. okay let me just restart again the desert will harm our people <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, let's so let's go. Let's see. <laughs> yes, never cheat. That's the lesson we're learning. Oh yes. <laughs> yes. Rough times indeed. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Welcome everyone new to the stream, by the way. Okay, let's um load game. Let's get uh the auto save. Go load. I assume this will work. Let's see. Ah. All right, we're gonna leave our. Wait a second. Okay. This, this leave is way back again. when. Oh boy, the autosave is like a million years ago. Okay, leave island. Hmm. Okay, so here we are, ready to move on somewhere. Mm-hmm. So where do we go? Um, 
So basically, you can press F7 on a keyboard. Okay. Ooh. And then you should be able to access any island. So, All right. Um, so yeah, do you, you can suggest just take we the go? Pure... Sorry. Um. Yeah, you can do the pure desert one or the mixed one. What do you What do you um, recommend? I think um, in this specific case, the desert part looks a bit mm -hmm. small on the lower island. Mm -hmm. So we'll I would one. probably go for the pure one. Yeah. Okay, let's go there then. Uh, also, hey, uh, Skelgard, no, multiplayer is not uh, being um, worked on because just focusing on the single player experience right now. So let's see. Um, all right, let's press the key to begin. Leave your island and press F7. All right, we have a bunch of people. So are so by cheating, do we have the same people or are they different people? I think. Oh no, they're the same people. Yeah. We got Ham with us. Yeah, the same people. Oh yeah. yes, yeah. nice. Okay, so when you leave an island, this is this is kind of what happens. I forgot to look at the island. Oh my god. Um, what do we have here? We have. What is this? Recruiting flag. There are friendly colonists here who are apparently rock people because I don't see them anywhere. <laughs> okay. are, they, are they these standing stones no they're destroyed pillars okay they're, they're somewhere they're probably gathering food what do we got up here oh here are some more people we don't have any enemies on this map well that was lucky <laughs> that was really lucky <laughs> oh my goodness mm -hmm. uh, well actually I don't know if it's lucky or not because I kind of wanted to show the combat a bit um, but that's okay we have stuff so on our ship we have everything that we had in the colonies we, we got strawberry donuts maybe no we don't actually they didn't have enough apparently, but we do have strawberries. So immediately we see it's a different biome here. Um, and it's, uh, there's not a lot of room for trees or farms or anything. So we may have to like rely on importing stuff, I think. Mm -hmm. Let's see. No people, but fat hippos. I know where they are. <laughs> you know, those hippos, they could be kind of dangerous, just slightly. Okay, so one thing that I learned, like when you go to another island, do not click unload everything because it will be everywhere. I'm just going to unload certain things like like certain amounts of logs, like maybe 10 logs and maybe 10, 10 cargo. I mean, 10 uh, stone so we can start mm -hmm. building out the bonfires and stuff. Mm -hmm. If you want to be super tidy, you can actually um, assign or link the ship to a stockpile. Uh -huh. And it will automatically unload until the dock point is full. So. Oh, that's quite interesting. I like that idea. Okay, let's do that. We'll automatically unload to a stockpile. Okay. Well, we don't know what we're getting, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, well, we do know what we're getting. We can store anything we want. Okay, what do we want from the ship? Let's find out. We want our wooden parts for sure. Uh, wooden boards. Let's just shop here. Let's see, wooden. We definitely want wooden boards. Okay, wooden parts we want as well. Oh my god, they're like, oh my god, the wooden parts are great. Let's go for them. <laughs> uh, oh, it is the, the icon bug again. <laughs> hmm? um, oh, all the I tools see. have fancy. strange icons. Yeah. <laughs> they're like monuments I, I of different know. kinds. It's such a strange bug, I don't understand it. I tried to find it, but it's so, oh, so that's random. Okay. Uh -huh. okay, I oh, well. think let's just leave that as it is. Let's build a few more bonfires out to get our territory kind of expanded here. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, the wooden boards. This is not ideal. They're not stacking them in ni nice, tidy piles. <laughs> Um, I don't think it can we go back to the first island somebody's asking I don't think we can can we uh, no you can't um, you can go to another of the grassland islands if you like later on but um, you cannot go back to an island where you've already been mm. and when you leave an island basically everything you have mined everything that is on your ship and everything that is in your buildings will automatically be loaded onto your ship will be in your inventory on the next island and actually the whole idea of the production and inventory target system is to support you on the next island mm -hmm. so for example here there are no 
not many areas where you can get wood, for example. That is mm. why you had a lot of wooden boards and so on produced on the first island. But actually the shipping port made that a lot easier because um, originally I had this huge problem of preventing people from locking themselves in, right? When they mm -hmm. use up the last rock or so. Oh geez, that, but, was what, um, that was a concern of mine, to be honest. I was like, yeah, no, yeah. this is the last rock, I can't do this. <laughs> I was really conscious yeah, I mean, of that because it's like, whoa, you know, can we can we get it back? So that's good. Yeah, and it would have been like a huge headache to calculate everything and make sure that everything you will need in five islands not used and so on. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, the shipping port is much easier and it works. So <laughs> happy with that. Oh no, I made a bonfire beside another one now. <laughs> Whoops. I'm so good at this. Oh, in this mountain, we see already we have mined iron available for us. Woohoo. Nice. And then these rocks have iron, copper, and also rock in them, which is kind of cool. These have rock. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so we're getting stuff done. Oh, this is great already. Yay! That's a really good idea, Jairok Peter. I like that idea. The whole, um, if you, um, you know, place mm -hmm. a bonfire down that it shows where you're covering. So you don't, like, mm -hmm. multi-place them. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so wood is going to go here. I'm going to set up a grove here. Now, I have to say that sometimes the, <laughs> the mechanics of the... Um, the way the trees are planted are a little bit frustrating for me. And we'll see that, okay. especially around these lakes. Uh, let me just set this as a grove. Okay. Oh no. Okay, we have to delete these trees. Must delete the trees first. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna not unload there anymore. We've expanded our territory. Okay, but we have a limit here, as you see. This must be an enemy camp, I think. Mm -hmm. Or is it? Okay, it says recruit. Okay, belongs to a group of friendly animals or colonists. No, here's enemies. Oh my god, here they are. With undead people. Undead colonists. Still alive for them now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I forgot to unload all of these chests. Oh no, on the other island. Oh dear. Aw. Oh. Okay. Now, I have another question. Power. If things are not in a stockpile, do they still get loaded onto the ship? Like, if there's stuff on the ground? Yes, yes. Everything. Okay. Oh, everything. Okay, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. um, Poco Loco, thank you so very much for the subscription. Really appreciate that. Iron, you can see the main bus already. Oh, and I think chat forgot, and I won't remind them right now. Um, they forgot that I did not build houses for everyone. See, but I win because I, I, um, yeah, I didn't. <laughs> Nobody noticed. <laughs> see, this is the way the stream works. It's fine. Okay, so here we're going to see people planting these palm trees. We can select that now. And I, we're going to look at how this is going to happen. Might have to delete some of this mountain, but we really need to start deleting these undead zombie guys. Do we have any swords? Do, I mean, we must have taken some swords. Let's see. Oh, they have funny icons. That's right. We have a stone pickaxe. Seven of them? Wow. <laughs> That's a lot of, uh, a lot of pickaxes. Um, okay, we have three swords. So... Okay, so combat in this game is a little bit strange, I have to say, but I want to show people what that's like. So let's go ahead and maybe get people. We have three swords, so peeps, let's go. Guntrich, Bernolf, and Meinhild. Go and get your swords. Pick them up. Oh, gotta unload them first. They're like KOS. They're still on the ship. We can't, un can't pick up what we can't unload. Hey, Labrad, how are you doing? Red shirts. <laughs> oh my goodness. Have a drink of water to celebrate. Yes, good idea. Hey, Pandion, how are you doing? 
Welcome to the stream. Okay, so this actually ended up being a really decent grove around the um, the lake here. But sometimes I have strips where, like, you know, you don't even have stuff uh, available to plant. And since, you know, lumber mm -hmm. is so limited on the desert places, it's kind of like, okay. All right, so what's... Did they unload these things? Do these people have swords? Oh, oh, look at the zombie. I did sort of intentional that it is limited, right? So that you have to expand and uh, have okay. to use transport to get wood from the other oases and so on. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Um, yeah, because I know there are other oases around the island. We can see two already on the map that we've uncovered. Uh, okay, so let's go and delete these zombie people if we can. Uh, no, not the torch. Wait, how do I... Is this there? How do I delete the enemy camps, though? Can we see them? Uh, you just attack them. Uh, so we, you click on the ground somewhere in that area. Oh, okay. So it's just the ground. Okay, I thought you had to click on the bonfire. All right, so we have our warriors. Strength 25 against enemies. Strength 54. This is not looking good for our folks here. I wonder if we should... Either add extra soldiers, even though they don't have swords. Maybe we should just add people. Let's add a bunch of people. Okay, we've got 40 strength. <laughs> Everybody's going to be knocked out half a day. We have 55, 61. Okay, 61 will do. Attack camp. So, they're going to go and do stuff. <laughs> Battle against the trees is all we need or want. Okay, so this is this is very curious. The whole we line up and then one person attacks another one person and the rest it's like um sort of combat gladiatorial spectator sport thing. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Charge my minions. <laughs> so Oh, they're they're reaching higher combat levels. This is good. But this zombie is not dying. Zomska. They have names? Aw. That's a nice name for a zombie, actually. I like this idea. Zomska. <laughs> Go settler combat. No. So yeah, Bodo is not not a happy dude. Nope, nope. Oh. So 16 hit points. No. Oh dear. Okay, so mine healed. Oh, you're the epic farmer lady. No. No, that wasn't my hill. Oh, <laughs> no, Frodo Linda. <laughs> it's Linda. Oh my god. These zombies are not dying somehow. But if I make progress, right? If I kill one zombie, that's something, right? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Okay, so we may so, have to attack them multiple times. This is this. So is first of all, um, the reason why uh, they are doing so bad is that they are very unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> right. And that decreases the damage they do. No! Uh, no. <laughs> they also don't have a weapon. Yeah, they but, don't have um, weapons. I know that. Uh. They don't die, so they regenerate eventually. Uh, they're missing a lot. Okay, apparently they need to be more happy to fight. I. This is strange to me. <clears throat> we just got here, people. Be happier, <laughs> will you? <ya? laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Houses for damage. <laughs> it had 150 HP, almost dead. <laughs> Almost alive, man. Almost alive. Okay, let's delete those rocks real quick. Oh, boy. Okay, so we got stuff to do. Let's get our shipping port first. Um, because we have the technology. We have the bits and pieces we need. I want to put this shipping port somewhere handy. Maybe there is good. Wow, that was an interesting sound. Okay, attack failed. But we did kill one of them, right? So that's going to... <laughs> Not gonna respawn, I hope. Oh, this person, look at this. We need more HP. Oh, the sadness is real. I need to call so, in the um, yes. Uh -huh. Basically, the reason why I made the combat like that, and I mean, I had different systems before, mm -hmm. and um, the thing is, I don't want it to be very micro management intensive. Yes. Oh, nice. And, um, basically, I want it to be like a process in the game like mining or producing right mm -hmm. where you slowly work upon on something and okay. um, the better someone is um, the more damage he will do okay. and, and the faster it will go 
And um, yeah, basically, I don't want people to be like afraid of uh, their colonists dying or something. And uh, there is also a problem where if somebody is, um, for example, on the opposite side of the island, right? Mm -hmm. And he has to walk a very long way to get into the combat. Like, what do you do, right? Like, if it is like a free for all combat, um, you would have a very big disadvantage if they have to walk a long, yeah. si a long way where, where they and so on. And um, I don't want people to need to worry about that. That makes yeah. sense. I like that idea. Okay. But I agree, it is not very intuitive. It's definitely just, I, I find it really too. interesting. It's very different. Uh, I'm, I, it's not like a criticism or anything. It's just very, very different to what I've seen. So it's it's just kind of... I wanted to show people that because I like the not micromanagey aspect of that. Um, and I do like that you, you can't lose settlers because you can't replace them. I mean, we found you cannot ship them in through the shipping port. <laughs> 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 so um, one, one thing that I, I noticed um, that I should I want to tell people about is that when you do like a bigger campaign and you have lots and lots and lots of um, islands, you can get a ton of colonists uh, to join your colony. So that really helps with all the division of labor and stuff like that. So it's kind of worth uh, doing to get that. That was funny, though. I, somebody says mine the zombies. They did actually drop copper ore. Uh, so zombies we have found are made out of copper ore. <laughs> I like this thought. Okay, let's get this. Okay. You're gonna make wooden boards and go here. You're gonna make stone blocks and go there. And just start some basic production. At the moment, we can't actually get any food. Um, so that's something we need to think about find places to to get food i forgot you can there are places for wheat right but there aren't any places for strawberries uh, mm -hmm. or, or are there that's correct correct okay so basically what you're doing now is um exactly what i've also been doing at the beginning which is just to make basically a replica of the industry of the last island mm-hmm but actually, we have enough wooden boards and parts and so on that we can just, like, if we want, we can just ignore all that and um, move on up the tech tree. Okay. But it's up to you, so. Yeah, I want to no see, I want to make sure that we can actually do some stuff. Let's see, we need, um, let me just make a table so that people can socialize. <laughs> so they, you know, at least one need is fulfilled. Or filled, I should say. Let's see. There. Make a basic road structure for our people. There's not a lot of room because of this uh, very inconvenient situation. Um, okay, we need... I also want to make a place to get weapons made real quick. But this is going to be good to get some happiness of some kind. And I think we'll just have a small well here to make some water. We can even sell water. Do we keep coins from the last island as well? Yes, we do. Look at that. Oh, and we can import different stuff. Nice. Can we actually <laughs> water? Yes, we can. For, okay. for, for a moment, I was like, well, you keep the coins. <laughs> 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 Uh-huh, yes. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, oh. apparently you do. <laughs> yes. Well, I was afraid my my um my ship people would, would be pirates and go off with them all. <laughs> yes, make a nice house too, yes. I wanna make houses. I don't know if we have enough production for that, but let's see if we can. Um alright, we need oh what am I looking for? Stockpile for water. There we go. Yep, water, there we go. Okay, we're going to get some of this done because I would really like to get to trains if we can. Oh, there's another... What's over here? Enemies. Oh my god, there's enemies everywhere. No! Okay, we have more strength on our warriors. That's good. Okay, but I want to... Let's get ourselves a... another workplace or two. We need two workplaces. One, two... 
Can you make the spaces oh. between the trees into food farms? No, you can't, I don't think, right? You, I don't think you can plant crops on the oasis thing. Um, Is that right? You can. You can plant wheat on the oh. desert. Oh! Okay. Let's see. Um, okay. If it's okay for you, I would um, take a short break, make myself a cup of tea. Yeah, please go ahead. Yes, and go ahead. be back in a few minutes. Okay. All right, sounds good. Good. Okay, so let's see if I remove this. Let's see if we can plant the farm here. Oh, you can! Oh, look at that. The wheat is here. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. Let's see. Let's remove a few of these pieces here. It's going to make this look really strange, but it'll be fine. Farm, farm. Oh no, 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 come on. There we go. All right, that's a great idea. Thank you for that. Uh, is a variation of houses related to the amount of people it can hold? Um, I think so. That's, that's a good point. Let me, all right, where do we want food production? I think I want to have my industrial stuff this way. So maybe food here because it's near the port as well. So we'll just have them carry the uh, the wheat and stuff. Let's see where we can create a road. Do a road here. And then we'll have our stockpile of wheat right here. This will be wheat. There we go. And have these farms just transport into there. There we go. Okay, we have farms. Great. Looking very good indeed. Let's just get rid of this. Farm. No! Okay, tiny wheat farm. Tiny, tiny wheat farm. <laughs> this is so silly. Oh, and this these three squares are really good. I don't want to detach these guys too much. Um, but it should be okay. Let's see. Let me cancel and get farms here, wheat, and oh, there, good. Yeah, I think this should be enough wheat. I think that should be pretty good. Yeah, we have a ton of wood on the ship. We have 71 wood, wooden logs, and we have all this. It's all filling the stockpile at the moment. First time you've seen people water a farm with bottled water. <laughs> well, it's in buckets. It's in buckets. It's not bottles. Oh, look at all of this. So this is what I was talking about before, about each item taking one square, where we're going to put it in a stockpile here. Let's put two stockpiles. Uh, maybe like that size. Get rid of these bits and pieces and make these for ore. So we'll have iron here and copper here. And then people will transport this stuff into those stockpiles. Oh, look at them go. They're doing great. The rain is good. That means they don't have to water the crops. Life is better for people, mostly-ish. They do have water. <laughs> but, um, so this is accepting wheat, I hope. Uh, let's get rid of this area. Ah, uh, we'll just take the whole area. Why not? All that we can so we can get another bonfire in here. Let's see. How many people... How much... We have strength 100. Well then. Let's attack the camp. Let's do that again. Who says it doesn't rain in the desert? <laughs> yeah, people don't need houses. They're fine. That's right. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, let's go ahead and um, let's just change the stockpile there. Okay, and there the pigs looks like they're transporting some of this stuff over. Okay, hopefully we're going to get this treasure as well. It's like the epic fight over some... Hey, refined wooden parts. Ooh, that's quite tasty. This is Zomska again. Oh dear. They are hitting them more often. I think they're they're slightly happier. All right. 
enemy camp destroyed and our territory has expanded. We have a pyramid, which I think we could probably just deconstruct. Um, we need some more bonfires out here. So let's just get those going. Put one there and one out here. Good, good, good. We might even get another shipping port um, on this side. So that's why I wanted to create a little bit more space there. All right, anything else on the ship that we need here? Hmm. Rocks, wooden logs. I don't think we need anything, really. We might need clay for bricks and stuff. I, I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought the, the breweries used to need bricks to be constructed, but I guess not. Because I remember on the grasslands that I had to actually create bricks and things. But maybe that's been changed. Okay, let's get rid of these rocky rockies. Oh, hippo, turtles. Oh, is that a spider? White scarab. What's oh, a beetle? How oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Um, bonfires again, two in a row. How nice. We're we're very good at putting those two in a row. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, we'll put one here, even though they probably won't be able to use them. But um, that going. No wheat yet. Lots of people working on stuff, though. There is a speed thing, so if you get kind of bored of, like, watching them, which I love to do, actually, and we can just change the speed. Let's go ahead and mine these chests here. Oh, this area looks really cool. Let's get a bonfire up here, just to kind of expand things. There's the last one. All right, just put them wherever we can. Nice kind of want to like pre get rid of some of these like ground decorations those can be annoying later when it's like oh no I have to build something and there's these little little ground thingies in your way but it's good to set up these stockpiles for this stuff so they don't have to move it later there's a bonfire there oh dear by the mountain oh yes it's right there it's you know right next to the thing <clears throat> It's it's just ground decoration. <laughs> Thanks for that, by the way. Oh my god. It'll be fine. It will be fine. Oh, the pyramid. That's a good idea. I think it's just decorative. I'm clicking on it and it just says an ancient building. So, yeah. Okay. Alright, so we have very little wheat. Welcome back, by the way. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Okay, let's get our road. is going to go through here. Oh! More treasure. Oh, these are these other enemies here. I guess we can probably take them down. I want to get this stuff finished, though, so that we can start getting more tech uh, in here. So, looking at chat, um, I really want to have transport hippo now. <laughs> transport hippos? Oh my god, I missed <laughs> Sounds that one. really good, actually. <laughs> Oh, 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 yes, and Peps asked, is the variation of houses related to the amount of people it can hold? Uh, yes, it is. Um, I think the very nice houses can only have two people living in them. Oh, wow. And the basic house can have five people. I think, I may be wrong, but I think that is the ratio approach. Okay, so I'm going to build some stockpiles here. Stone blanks and wooden handles. Okay. This one is going to create. I'm going to have the same kind of setup of hammers, pickaxe, shovel, and sword. That's four. Okay. Oh no, no, no. Thingy. Don't do that. All right. This is a lot easier now that I don't have to find all of like the things, the components that go into mm -hmm. each one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, we'll do we'll do topiaries here, stone hammers. <laughs> this is funny. Pickaxes. All right, these are gonna be shovels and swords. Okay, there we go. Nice. 
Roads are such free a to go, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. Nice. Okay. Oh wow, we got some some iron blocks and things from this. Very nice. Woohoo! Oh no, there's like one square <laughs> not covered. No. All right, that'll be fine. Just put a bonfire here. Okay, it's looking pretty good. We have food production now. We can go and let's see, make probably a bakery. What is it asking for? Construction blocks. Oh wow, this is more high-tech stuff for sure. Uh, okay, so let's get our bakery going. We'll have two of those. Oopsie. Hello thing. Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay, we're gonna make this colony work. It's going to be good. Hopefully we can get our iron stuff set up. Let's find out what we need for that uh, construction stuff. Okay, so there's a kiln that makes bricks and charcoal. Then we have an ore smelter. Those are built with bricks. So we need bricks. Um, there's a robot workshop. That needs stuff. <laughs> Oil barrels and iron blocks. We can't build that yet. Metal workshop. Okay, produce here all kinds of stuff. Um... Construction blocks, conveyor belt parts, iron blocks, hammers, pickaxe, shovel, sword, machine parts, refined wooden parts, and track parts. Yes, that means trains. Okay. Ore crushers, we don't have that yet. Quarry, oh, automatically yields an endless supply of rocks. That sounds so tasty. Uh, but we need machine parts, which we don't have yet. So let's get ourselves a kiln, uh, because we need some of that. The kiln is good nearby, um, wood and other stuff. So let's just get our road this way. It's going to be a bit messy, I think. <laughs> It'll be fine. Don't worry. We've done this before. <laughs> okay, so I like to have a little bit of charcoal here and then bricks can be here. I don't know how many bricks we need. 20 bricks. That should be enough, I hope. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna produce both. Definitely don't need as much charcoal as bricks, though. Okay, so this is charcoal. And then have more bricks. Good, good. And these stockpiles can grow so that it looks like we planned it this way. Uh huh. And, uh. <laughs> let's take the road this way. Okay, looks good. We have things! Stuff is going on and occurring. Wait, what is this? This is our stone? Oh no, we have no stone. Life is worse. Oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay. Sometimes I zoom out too far and it's like way, way too far. Okay, we need that to be done. These are... They are very hard difficulty mining thingies. Those pickaxes made. Oh, there's a treasure chest over here. Nice. And get some more bonfires spread out a bit. Oh, this is enemy territory over here, I think. All right, folks, it's time to attack the camp. Go for it. Have fun. I'm a rock troll. <laughs> I find endless rocks tasty. Yes. Oh, dear. <laughs> Where do people live? They live right now outdoors because I have not built the houses yet. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Can you keep the selection so we can see the HP bar? Sure. Uh, let's see where they're going. Oh, wow. They're killing stuff. Do you want to see the enemy HP bars? I guess so. Instead of this is uh, instead of the colonists. We're just killing them with our bare hands at the moment. Okay. The strengths. Oh. Um, like here? Ah, that works. Yeah, sure. Alright, there we go. We are killing things. Slowly. Very, very slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Somska was defeated. Yes. Who's next? We have a mummy. Undead colonist. 
Who is this? This is Unberg, the mummy. Enemy strength equal, enemy strength low. Okay. Unberg was defeated. Yes. Oh, level three combat. Excellent, Bodo. We appreciate your service. They're having a bit of a time there. Oh yeah, well, it's true. We can, we see the health bars over here as well. But here we can see the enemy strength in their combat. <laughs> They're just fighting with bare knuckles here. No. They're like, okay, we're tired of this. We're going home. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright. Territory. Oh no, not yet. We have one more to kill. What is this? This is a tree stump. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh, here we have one of our warriors with a sword. An actual sword coming in. Hello. You are Guntrich. Welcome, Guntrich. <laughs> okay. They're having a go. Hopefully we'll get this territory. It's nice though that they've walked over this. We like kind of half explored it already. Ah, oh, Frodolinda. She was our like epic farmer woman. <laughs> <laughs> ah, sure, mage man. Sounds good. Fighting zombies with bare hands is suicidal normally. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of rough. It is rough. I agree. Oh, this person is lacking, lacking love in his life. No, actually HP. Um, but we can we can have a little story about them, that's for sure. Okay, let's get these rocks harvested. Yay! Because so we can get more. Oh, we have lots of stone blocks. This is good. Very good. Uh, should we be exporting anything? I think we're okay for now. We have 45 coins. I think the only thing we're going to need are like... Um, the strawberries and tomatoes and things. Okay, so let's make stuff. We want to make all the stuff. Oopsies, I forgot to click this one. And then we'll have our small stockpiles for these different items. How much do we need of stuff? Do we care? Probably not. Oh, wow, we need 50 charcoal? What for? Ooh, that's very funky them here for now. I should have just built one of these bakeries and then assigned the next one to it. That's an interesting thought. A medical skill or building. Bread. I think you'll better in houses. Yes. It's a good way of, of saying that. <laughs> I feel some shade in my direction. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's another dig at KOS. No houses for the people. Actually, I could build some houses over here. That would be actually not over there. Not, not a good spot. There's no good spot for houses on this map. This whole entire map. There's no good spots for houses. <clears throat> yes. All right, let's see if we can build a couple of houses. <laughs> Even crappy houses, cheap houses. Okay, we can do basic house. Those are fine. How, how much are the nice houses? Wooden parts and stone blocks. Ooh, those are expensive. Pl house value two places three. So do they get like more happiness if they have a better house or does it just affect their healing rate or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they will be happier if they have a better home. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they'll be happier if they have better. Uh, how much? Let's let's find out how much happiness a person has with a basic house. I want to find this out. Let's see. That is that the right direction? I can't quite see the door because of the icon. No, no, that looks like a door. Okay, house. Oh no, that can't go there. No, 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 no. Sell. We need to have a space so they can walk to the stockpiles. I kind of want to put the houses not here because this is a really prime shipping area, but we could we could afford one house. Well, let's have just one house and see how happy people are or if they are completely miserable without a house. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I 
doesn't have enough room for houses. Clearly, there's not enough room for houses. That's the thing. Okay, stockpile. Actually, we're going to leave this. The bricks are kind of funny in this game. Usually, I put, like, two kilns for stuff. Um, one making charcoal and one making brick are both making both. But I don't think we have enough people to work on it. I think we need to charge for those people, wherever they are. Are they over here? Yes, there are. There, these are the invisible people. I don't know how we'll keep track of them, but we'll, we'll find out. Let's see. Let's <laughs> ourselves. <laughs> yeah. I actually don't know what's happening there. <laughs> it's really. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to find out. That's for sure. Okay, let's mm. get these. And on trucking to the edges of our world expanding the borders stuff we could open some treasure chests there's one here two here nice is that oil looks like oil to me nice okay we'll see who, who gets this house so normally people are having a happiness of zero right you know that's not ideal. <laughs> Definitely not ideal. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Mageman, for the 40 bits. It's very nice of you. <laughs> Testing build houses on the water. Stilts. I like this. Oh, it's people or animals? Oh, right. It could be animals. I could be getting <laughs> a hippo. Hey, hippo. Are you, are you belonging <laughs> to this colony? <laughs> <laughs> or could be getting a turtle? I don't know. <laughs> do they actually do any work, hippos, yet? Um, I think They're... by default they will all be carrying things. Okay. But I don't... Wow, they can carry stuff. That's cool. Yeah. That works. But um, they do not have the position specified yet, so ah, they'll probably okay. just be eating it. I don't know. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, we have people in the house. We have. All right. Bertwin. Hey, he gets 100 happiness from this house. I don't think there's so much of a difference. I think we can give them all basic houses. <laughs> oh, no. Don't delete that. Let me just turn the map slightly. Harvest these guys. And actually, we probably could get rid of this. All that stuff. I think there is an effect of uh, the house quality uh, because if you hover on the um, housing need thingy, uh -huh. then um, it should tell you um, it, it gives a bonus for a high quality. And in this case, oh. it gets a minus. Minus two. But it does say 100 on the main screen, though. Mm, yeah, I mean. It, it's like with food, right? It means that it is fulfilled, right? It is not ah, fulfilled okay. well, but it is fulfilled. Right. Okay. But, yeah, it's it's not so. It's okay. not so. Um, it's clear. not so I, obvious. I yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. We do need to get them some food. I have set up food. Come on, guys, make food. We need stuff. We need more bakers. You can rename your people, by the way, if you like. Ah, yes, that's true. Um, let's see. I think I actually kind of like the names that they have. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take off combat for now, I think, so that they uh, they drop their swords and pick up something more useful to them. That's a good thing. Hey, Snake Cult, how are you doing? What editor do you use to make the voxels? Mm -hmm. I'm using a Magica Voxel, uh, which is uh, free, which you can download. Um, I've tried other voxel programs, but um, the thing is that only Magica Voxel supports animations. Ah. So most other editors do not. And actually, the latest version also doesn't support it anymore, so I'm no. using like, like a version that's a year old. It, uh, wow. But it works fine. It's, it works pretty well, actually. Um, oh, that's cool. Wow. I wonder why they removed that uh, functionality. That seems very strange. Uh. Uh, I think it's like a, a fan project or open source or anything. It ah, doesn't right. seem like okay. they have the resources to maintain it that way. Mm. I think it's also like a bug they want to fix, but uh, mm -hmm. they haven't gotten to fix it in like a year or so. Wow. it's a long time. Is there a fish pool in the lake here? 
don't know. Oh, and we have we have more greenery. Oh my gosh. We can actually make what is this thing? Oil barrel. Oh, how funny. Oh. Oh no. Game. Oh no, it's fine. Fine. We just had a bit of a like a stutter there. Okay, let's just take these trees. Oh. Hey. Okay, great. Double or none bonfires. I'm working on it, everyone. It's hard to see sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so do we have the ability? We have one one brick, two bricks, one brick. Why do we only have one brick? What are, what are we using them for? Or maybe they're just not making them? I think they're focusing on the charcoal right now. Let me go ahead and... Um, Get this kiln to not make charcoal anymore. Maybe I should make another kiln. Let's just do that. Put one here. And that way they can just make bricks. There we go. Alright, we are unlocking all kinds of stuff here. That's great. Ooh, many things. We are looking for iron blocks. All right, come on, people, make stuff, do things. It's a thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling like I don't have enough people, <laughs> and I, I'm not even shipping stuff. It's like no, and there's nobody that's bored. So let's see. Maybe I just need to make them work faster through building housing. So, chat. I have to say that you know, since you're making me build houses it's making it's like cracking a whip on these guys backs that's rough it's really rough it's it's, it's yeah it's it's you know you think that you're doing them a favor by keeping them out of the rain but i don't think they like that that much okay let's build a house uh, road i don't know why i didn't face them the other direction that was kind of silly okay there we go but at least they'll have places. You want to see the very nice house? Let's see if we can make that. Cost two construction parts. I don't think I can actually make that right now. Um, construction blocks are with the higher level something. Yeah, this metal workshop. Ooh, I can actually make a metal workshop. Hello. Hello, hello. Wow, I can make all kinds of stuff. Ish. Iron quarry. Ooh, endless supply of iron sounds really good. Um, okay, we need to make the ore smelter and possibly the ore crusher. Do we have a machine part? So I have a question. Is there any way to like see the entire um, contents of the colony or what's on the ground and stuff? Like, I want to find out if I have a machine part. Oh, I do have a machine part, mm -hmm. but I don't want to click yeah, all over is. the map. <laughs> There is. Oh, there is an inventory panel uh, right off the uh, colonist management ah, screen. Right here. Look at that. That's really awesome. Okay. Cool. We have one. I think that's a track. The only they they don't have any tooltips though. Yeah, I had. Uh, the, uh huh. The again too distracting. Like, ah, building right. Building things. So ah, I right, have yeah. to find a better way for that. And I think it would be nice if it was like, um, let me find it again. Inventory management, like a list where it's not like in a square format, but more of like a scrollable list of maybe categorized raw materials mm -hmm. and then things and mm -hmm. have mm -hmm. the name there. Because if it's something that a person doesn't know, like this, is this a construction part? Might be. Oh, yeah, is that a construction yeah, yeah, part? Correct. You know, so, correct. Um, but yeah, just a thought for that. It's another one for my to-do list. Yeah. <laughs> to-do list. Oh no, creating more work. No. Oh, people haven't. Moved oh, but in I yet. mean, it's good. I mean, uh -huh. um, I think everything you say. There are a hundred people who have the same issue, right? Mm. Or have the same problem, but they don't say it, or they yeah. just annoyed by it, or whatever. And so, mm -hmm. yeah. It's really good to hear it so that I can fix it. <laughs> Ooh, this looks like an automatic building. Crushes ore into small chunks automatically. Ooh. They need power, though. Okay, so 
Let's see. Ooh, this sh separates crushed ore. So I think this is part of the automation, but we probably shouldn't build that yet. Because we really just okay. need to get, like, the smelter going and then the metal workshop. I think. I hope. Let's try it. Okay, there's our smelter. And this makes, um, all kinds of blocks out of different materials. So this one will use crushed copper or it will use, um, wait, one of them uses chunks and one of them uses crushed, right? Mm hmm Correct. But it's showing that this is produced from, oh, copper ore. There it is. Okay. There we are. Okay, nice. So then we, you can just choose the recipe that you want to use. This one is the chunks, which is what we have. We don't actually have the crushed yet. Um, and I think, is it more efficient to use the crushed then? Probably. Because I, I imagine um, you get more crushed from one ore block. Mm -hmm. It's for the late game. Um, I'm not sure yet uh, exactly. Okay. okay. Like, if you like, um, at the end of the stream, we maybe cheat in some of the automation <laughs> things. Okay. Just to show you... off how they work and so on. Yeah, um, we can do I that. Mean, would you like to do that? It's all not final and so on. Yeah, but yeah. we can do that then. Okay, well, yeah, um, yeah I, I think I'm kind of getting to the end of the stream at the moment. Mm -hmm. So um, if you want to show some of that, that would be kind of awesome. I wanted to also mm -hmm. show the Zeppelins. Those are so fun. Yeah, maybe you just build a Zeppelin. Thing, okay. For example. Well, I mean, let, let's get some, maybe some automation stuff. Oh, look at this poor pig has this giant bar of iron on his back. No, <laughs> he looks over <laughs> overwhelmed. Poor thing. Aw, did I find the animal oh. banner? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, let's get the animal banner to find out what we get. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Okay, there's... So, so maybe the easiest way is to show it using the... I guess because they already have the scenes set up, so we can just show how like the trains work and so on. The I'm sorry, what did you say? You cut out for a minute. Ah, sorry. Um, I think maybe the easiest way things would be the tutorial. Oh, the because tutorial. Because they already have little scenes set up with trains and zeppelins and so on. Sure. So okay, let's just do. Just I'm gonna see. save the game. Okay, save game. And let's go to the main menu. Yeah, that's going to be a lot easier just to show different stuff. Okay, so the tutorial. The tutorials are really good, by the way. I think they were very educational. I, I know I went through them before I started playing, and they're really cool. Okay, so there's a Zeppelin one. Let's show the Zeppelin. I love the Zeppelins. There's our goal. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, we didn't get the animal banner. <laughs> Whoops. We'll go there later and see. Okay, any key to begin. There we go. Okay, so I love the little zeppelins. They are absolutely adorable. They like little float around here. Okay, so we are going to set a zone of assignment for bonfire one to color two. So that one is, there we go. There we go, color two. Yay. Okay, Berta needs to be in yellow. I think, is that her? Yep. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, create a link from Zeppelin Station 2 to Zeppelin Station 4. Okay, so this is kind of like the horse carriage thing that we did uh, earlier. Uh, except now we're using tiny mm -hmm. zeppelins. <laughs> okay, create a link from stockpile three to zeppelin station two. I imagine it's this one. Stockpile three, there we go. Okay, so this is going to transport gold blocks. Now this one, we just need to link this one. Uh, make stockpile five, except gold bricks. So that's this one, there we go. And then we can take this to go there. Okay. So we should be getting stuff. So Berta is going to go over there and uh, transport stuff. Oh, create a link from stockpile six to Zeppelin station four. Wait, are we going? Ah, yes. Transport water back. Okay. So 
six, two, four, there we go. And then station four to two. Ah, yes, that's right. Go here, back to here. So the Zeppelins can do double duty. All right, Zeppelin station two to stockpile seven, which is here. And seven needs to accept water. Oh, there they go. Oh, tiny Zeppelins. Look at them. Oh, I love the way they fly. It's so cute. Okay. You can also <laughs> follow one if you like. Um, oh, you can? Oh. Yep. Select them and... Um, uh, this way? Oh, yeah, there we go. Select. Oh. How cute. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> no, Ze Zeppelins are not having a whole turn in them. Don't worry. They'll be fine. Oh, they're going and picking up the water now. All right. Moving over, picking up stuff. Here we go. Flying on our way back now. Mm -hmm. oh, I love I think this. Is, uh -huh. This is a good example of how the logistic system. Mm -hmm. How they will, how the colonists will interact with the zeppelins to, you know, move it in a uh -huh. sort of efficient way. That's really cool. Oh, that's awesome. They need more gold bars. Otherwise, the Zeppelins are at a standstill. I guess we'd have to reverse the whole process. <laughs> but of course, this is a tutorial map. Okay, let's go and see another one. Okay. That's yeah. great. And the so next also... one should be the train one, I think. Okay, let's do the trains. Which one? Trains or trains two or train network or train signals? We have many trains. Um, <laughs> maybe first to the trains. Okay, just go in order then. Or... Um, I wonder... Um, yeah, start with six, maybe. Okay, let's do that then. Early stage logistics boss peps, yes. <laughs> Wouldn't it be awesome if we had a little, like, tiny zeppelins? <gasps> Look, we have trains. So exciting. Okay, bonfire one to color two. All right, so this is this one, and then we'll go color two. That's yellow. Berta, is that you? That's you. You got an arrow above your head. I really like how you've like labeled every single thing. It's really quite, um, quite cool looking, easy to find stuff. Like in the last instructions, I was like, oh my God, I have to click on every single stockpile to find out the number. But no, you have these <sighs> little tiny blocks here that tell us the number. I'm getting a little bit tired, so I didn't notice the blocks. I was mm -hmm. like, oh, there are, there are pretty colored blocks there. And then I was like, wait a second, they're just telling us the name of the pile. So that was really kind of cool. <laughs> uh, that you have that in there. Okay, so train station two. Let's link this to train station three. Okay, and then three. We go to two. All right, good, good. Now, let's see. Build a train. So here we're going to build this train. And we're going to follow it. Oh my God. No, we're not going to follow it yet. We have to. We have to do a schedule first. Okay, add station two to the train schedule and three. So we're gonna right click this and go there. Um, then it's gonna go. Oh my God. <laughs> are, are you gonna have train sounds eventually? Hello? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. this is so good. Oh, oh it's so, okay. We need, we need to make it do stuff though. We have to have a useful train here. Let's see. Okay, create a link from train station three to stockpile five okay and then stockpile six oh we're doing the gold bars again nice and make stockpile five accept gold blocks okay so basically stockpile five is now requesting gold blocks and berta is gonna have to run to get this going here oh the smoke oh careful crossing the train tracks girl there you go and this is the automatic train station uh, so it rips those things and puts them on the train. That's so good. <laughs> That's great. Oh, I love the animations and all of this. The smoke is really good from that train. Holy fuzzy cats. That is it's awesome. actually pr pretty funny with the... Um, I've, I've been using the particle effects incorrectly for like... A <laughs> before figuring out that you can make them transparent if you use a specific material. It was uh -huh. like super weird. I was always trying to <laughs> make my own shader to sort of fake it. <laughs> it was like horrible. Uh, wow. And, uh, oh my goodness. 
finally I figured out how to do it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is really cool. But it looks very impressive. Really, really nice. I love that. Thank That's you, thank effect. you. That's great. Oh, here we get to see three bars going on the train at once. There's nothing better than seeing a fully loaded train. Oh, so tasty and nice. <laughs> it's so exciting. Sorry, I'm getting very excited about this. I have a thing for trains. <laughs> Poor Berta has nothing to give to the station. But I really love how, like, each item is its own item. Like, you know, it's it's not a stack of stuff. It's just one big thing, yeah. you know? That is actually, uh, was actually a big design goal for me. Mm -hmm. And it's like the only thing I didn't really like in Oreo is that you just have a box which says like 50k or something right yeah yeah um i want the player to feel like rich and have like dog pile of stuff i don't want <laughs> just to have a hidden number somewhere it's it's you know it and it's very satisfying i have to say it's very like i don't know i'm just kind of reminded of like when i was a kid and i played with legos and you have mm -hmm. you know one flower thing or one other block or something like that they're very blocky like this and it's it's really um yeah, it just feels good, and it's and it's also humorous, and it's a bit cartoony, and it's very fun, uh, and I like I really like that aspect of the game. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I guess we should next, go to yeah, go yeah. back. Next, maybe we can do one with train signals. Maybe the number okay. eight or number nine, depending on which one you want. Which one do you want? I don't remember them. So, well, we can do um, let's do eight, and then we can continue to nine. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, this is this one, right? Oh, the, <laughs> yes, I remember this one. Okay, so we're going to build trains, and then we need to add the train stops to the schedule. Two and three. Okay. And it's going to go. We need to build another train. Six. So, um, there are two types of train signals, which is um, normal signals and pre-signals. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, you can, I mean, have you played Transport Tycoon? Oh yes, extensively. Oh yes, good. Then <laughs> I think you, then you will intuitively oh, understand yes. how it I works. Know how to figure them out, yes. <laughs> so really I think good. in uh, in Factorio terms, I know a lot of people play Factorio, it's more like, it, we would call them chain signals. The pre-signals are chain signals. So they, mm -hmm. they like mm -hmm. read the signal ahead. Oh, we're going to keep on schedule. Oh no, I, I clicked it, not soon enough okay go go okay track segment occupied mm -hmm. this is so cool though so nice okay so now they'll they will all go but this one is gonna wait until that one goes, we can see that it's red here, because that one hasn't mm -hmm. crossed. So it's basically reading the next uh, thing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Seeing yeah. if it's safe, yeah. Can you have train crashes in the game? I guess you can, right? Um, <laughs> well, um, it shouldn't be possible, but uh, there are some bugs we make okay. moment. So for example, when you load a game, it trains um, initially they will all go wherever which is a bug <laughs> <laughs> but, but um, there isn't anything bad happening it's just a visual glitch so. okay okay so they'll get they'll get back on track okay um, yeah, yeah. Mm. that's good all right let's go to okay. maybe the next one nine or mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah but and i do want to show the or thing as well let's see mm -hmm. here's the good this one the clover leaf is with trains, is it? Or no, it's with belts, mm -hmm. I think. Wait, I forgot. No, it's also with trains. It's with trains. Okay, okay. So here's this one. We have to build trains. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. So this is another so kind this of. This is with the chain signals. Yeah, just a simple setup. Mm -hmm. It's really cool though that you have this kind of functionality in the game. Um, because I, this is one of my favorite things. I mean, if, if I have a, if I see a train game, I get very frustrated if there's not signaling involved. Um, oh, whoops, I forgot to click the stations. 
um, if, if it's meant to have signaling or if it's complex enough to use it, I'm like, oh, I really need signals. And like, you can tell this track goes this way, right? They will only go, if, if there are signals on the track, they will go in the direction they show. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's very cool. Okay, and then it probably wants us to build more. Yes, build all the trains all the time. There we go. I like that there's a sheep there randomly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like sheep's like, what's going on here? We have no idea. Wait, did I? No. Oh, there it goes. Okay. It's waiting for this train to pass here so it would be safe. Mm -hmm. All right. I guess next we can show the uh, conveyor belt. Okay. See? It's Go just a simple menu. Is that the the ore processing or the conveyor oh, belt? I think we can show that last. Okay. Just like um, so from the progression, I think it makes sense to conveyor belts now. Okay. Okay. There we go. Uh, conveyor belts, everyone. They're conveyor belts. Yay. Okay, make stockpile one, accept iron blocks. Okay. Uh, is that a, wait. That's a depot, right? Oh, that's actually, yeah. Okay. It's actually incorrect. Um, so, I'll do a not the depot, but the little exit thingy there. Oh, the exit thingy. All oh, right. Okay, so yeah, I'm that is incorrect, yeah. Okay, the exit that. thingy. This is the station thing. Okay, it accepts iron blocks, I hope. Oh, right there. Right. Okay, so you have to like double click that instead. Okay, so this is an inserter. Yeah, it's a bit <laughs> confusing. I... Nice. It's interesting, though, the way they, like, turn around at the edges of the <laughs> <laughs> That's so yeah. funny. <laughs> okay, so stockpile two, we want it to accept stone blocks. So this is the exit, accepting stone blocks. Okay. Mm -hmm. This. Did I, do? I did the wrong thing again. Exit. Okay, there we go. All right, here we are. We'll go this way. Yay! Oh, look at this. So this is a splitter here, I imagine. Mm-hmm. Okay, yes. conveyor distributor. Evenly splits items from incoming belts to one or more outgoing belts. Oh, that's very cool. Very good. Hey, cows are cool. How are you doing? Okay, and then now we have above ground belts. Make stockpile three, except wooden logs. Okay, so this is our exit. Wooden logs. There we go. There's a treasure chest that shall never be opened. This is very sneaky. <laughs> it's like, we want to know what's in that chest. Oh, and here's a cow. I don't know if we've seen cows on our islands yet, but they are extremely cute. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to let this fill up with, with wooden logs and tempting. What's going on with those conveyor belts while we watch this silly cow crossing the desert? The answer is they are going in a sort of Aztec Mayan pyramid of log figure 80 goodness it is just nice. <laughs> it's just crazy good it's like whoa i'm wondering what is this going to overfill the belt it is oh wow so do belts get overfilled by the way or do they just like items just kind of clip in or you know how do they um, oh they also fall off apparently oh dear oh dear this is this is oh dear we have a jam <laughs> we oh have a Oh, that is a bit buggy. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> I like this though. It's like really reaching for the stars okay. here. It has aspirations, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> okay. That's okay. Yeah, that is not not quite as expected or intended. 
okay. It was all the cow gazing we did, I think, that messed it up. No, <laughs> this cow is the culprit! Look! Oh, that cow, he probably, like, pushed him off or something, maybe, or was just looking at them funny. A long jam. Yeah, I will have a look at that, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, let's go to the main menu, and then we want to look at... Mm -hmm. The, uh, which one? Clover leaf or of processing? Um, you can do the processing one next. Um, so clover leaf is just a big train intersection. Yeah. <laughs> yes, oh. it has trains. <laughs> okay, so this is very complicated here. Click this objective. All right. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So apparently we won already. So this starts over here. This is one where you basically just see what happens to um, just mm -hmm. a basic setup and yeah, uh, most of it is not finalized in any form it's just like a proof of concept that the mechanics are already work mm -hmm. yeah. so this is an automatic tree planter automatic grove and it's making pine trees um and looks like these are iron quarries so they just make iron all day long so we have inserters taking from the quarry putting it on the belt and on this belt we have um the iron going here and they are being inserted into a uh, ore crusher there we go mm -hmm. Let's see what happens with this so you get two iron rich rocks from the crusher we were looking at that uh, earlier with the um, you know I was asking if certain like if it's more um, efficient to use the crushed ore so they use yeah you get two pieces from each piece there and then we have centrifuge which will make crushed iron into well make the what is this called iron rich rocks into crushed ore okay mm -hmm. wow that sounds impressive zephyrian oh, oh okay so here we have stuff getting put onto the conveyor belt line and this thing this depot is going to store this stuff mm-hmm just go. uh, going to start and also sort it mm. so it is only going to exit the crushed iron ore and then presumably there's a way to get stuff out of no is there would there be a way to like have a smart inserter so that this inserter only takes the iron chunks and then this gray stuff can move along the line somewhere else like to a different storing place mm -hmm. okay yep yep Basically, this little plate where they are transported to, uh -huh. you can set that to any good and um, any type, and only that type will be brought there. So you ah, could have okay. the gray ones transported somewhere else. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so this guy is waiting for something. He's waiting for maybe charcoal or something. Oh, here we go. Finally, mm -hmm. the, the trees have grown. So we're getting wood over here. And these are automated kilns we saw kilns earlier where we found that they produce either bricks or charcoal so maybe we're going to get some charcoal here to go into this process for the smelter i'm guessing that's what it's going to take to make it into an iron block mm -hmm. there we go so it needs what two wood i guess it's waiting for it this is so cool it's so nice to just like oh nope that is one greedy inserter wow Look at that! <laughs> it grabbed it and it's already ha it doesn't even have a space to put it! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, MoGraph. <laughs> God. Okay, so the machine is working. We see things happening. Little things going up and down. Mm -hmm. Life is better. Okay. Very good. So it is making charcoal, we see. And uh, that will get put on the belt. And hopefully we're going to get our first iron block. This is, and meanwhile, this is filling up very significantly here. Uh, but we are getting our char... What is this stuff? What is this? Is it like charcoal? Rubble? Yeah, it's um, rubble, I think. Yeah? Yeah. I don't think you can do anything with it yet. <laughs> okay, well hopefully there's a way to, to recycle it or something. To have mm -hmm. like a self-sufficient kind of colony where we don't have like vast dumping grounds of rubble. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but man, can 
I, I can just see so many possibilities with people modding in stuff and making yeah. all kinds of complex production yeah. chains. I think it's going to be great. That is so what I'm great. really excited uh, mm -hmm. to see what people are going to make and what they're interested in. See and well, of course, I'm going to add a lot of stuff myself, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, that it's is always so good. nice to be surprised by what people accomplish and make. Oh, that's so good. I mean, maybe somebody, maybe somebody just wants to make like five different tree types or more crops <laughs> or so, right? We will <laughs> see many trees, I'm sure. <laughs> or animals like cats and dogs, for example. <laughs> <laughs> yes, just oh just saying, goodness. just saying. Just saying, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have our first two iron blocks. This is great. Oh, this is, so this is a really cool little... Uh, it's like kind of like a tutorial demo thing that you've set up here. I guess we should go to the trains then. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay let's go the there. final one. Oh. The final one, the clover. <laughs> clover leaf. It's very exciting. Mm -hmm. Okay, clover leaf. <laughs> Don't tell Angel or Bob about this game in Possible Dogs. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Oh, the meow is real. This is very exciting. I gotta find the train depot. Where is it? Hello? Where are you, train depot? Uh, oh, it's here. Right, okay. Build a train. We'll have it add different sets of stations. Okay, so you go from there to there to there to there. Go. We'll build another train and we'll just have like different schedules and stuff. Mm hmm. Build a train, you go from there to there. And you're done. Oh, this is great. <laughs> Were the machines powered by one pig on a treadmill? Yeah, <laughs> correct. Um, one pig and <laughs> all that? Wow. Oh, I forgot to put out the power lines. Oh, darn. Okay. Okay. This I actually, is... because of the bug, it's more like a pig in a treadmill. But. Um, <laughs> The idea is there, right. <laughs> All right. This is so cool. Build okay. five trains. So basically, most of the uh, transport tycoon style intersections should also work in Kubi Factory. Mm. Um, except the ones which need tunnels, because you only have two levels here. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. Okay. All right. Wow, let's see all this run. They are going places. So this is interesting. They go around. That's quite a cute little uh little tool there instead of just like um sort of magically flipping. Yeah, the trains are super cute. They're great. Oh, this one's going that way. Oopsies. Wow. Yeah, and the elevated rails is a thing too. And you can also build, we saw the elevated conveyor belts. Um, oh, here we go. Up and over. Nice. <laughs> this is so good. No cat trains yet. <laughs> Yes, that could be fun to have cat trains. <laughs> oh man. Wow, this is cool. Yeah, I played Gnomoria and, and Towns as well. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, this is so good. So anyway, this does take a little bit of time to get to in the desert biome, um, but that's that's mm -hmm. kind of like where we were pushing for. Uh, we had the iron blocks, and those, I believe, can be turned into the parts needed for rails and for... Um, I think that's it, right? I don't think trains cost mm -hmm. anything right now. So, but yeah. You get uh, f five trains for each station. Uh, uh, oh, nice. For each um, factory, I mean. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you just need mm -hmm. to build more factories. So we could build like 10 more factories and have a whole bunch of <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, so 
I'm really excited to see how it looks like. When yeah, me too. And I and so so the game is releasing in about a week and a half. It's July third. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Correct on early access, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So um, I think this is probably a good time to end the stream. Uh, I don't know how mm -hmm. you're. Are you feeling okay about that? Or yes, yeah? I'm fine. Perfectly <laughs> okay. Fine. I think so, it it made a pretty good, um, an honest representation of what you can expect in the game, like the biomes mm -hmm. and um, a bit of what is going to be in the game and what I'm working on at the moment regarding automation, and trains and so on. Yeah, and I have to say that I've played this game, um, you know, off camera. I was practicing for this stream specifically, you know, so I would know kind of what to expect and all kinds of stuff. And I was just engaged and played for hours and hours and hours. It's very, very addictive and it's really fun to kind of try to set up your colony so that it's efficient and, you know, the travel times matter and the amount of pigs matters. <laughs> and where do you put the houses <laughs> if there's no space, like on a huge desert island with no space? <laughs> all this stuff it's just it's a really fun mm -hmm. game so i really i was i oh, was thank really you. thank you so very much for joining me for the stream i i had so much fun playing and it's really cool to discover all these different things about the game as well so um thank you for inviting me that's really oh you're really very fun. welcome and anytime uh, yeah so um okay i guess uh probably we'll have to say goodbye now but thank you everyone for joining mm -hmm. thank you thank you for all the subscriptions the bits uh coming and chatting and just being here and hanging out and uh really appreciate you being here so i hope you've enjoyed the stream and uh remember to wishlist the game if you're interested in that in fact let me do the, the command for that uh what is it called oh yes yes there we go hey and um yeah check it out uh it's it's an early access many things are coming modding is coming it's very exciting so um <laughs> i guess we'll just have to say thank you so very much for joining us take care of yourselves and each other and we'll see you next time thank you and goodbye <laughs>